stop doing that, guys. You can't just keep bumping out of my fucking backpack like that. <laughs> <laughs> well, why do you keep it in there? Well, what am I supposed to do? Put it on my head? Huh. You know? Oh, no, 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 no. I thought Alice was the one holding it. You were until you, like, bamfed out. <laughs> and then who was holding on to it? Me. Oh, so I will say yeah, that, that's uh, right. yeah, you basically reform touching the pearl. Uh, but since it's in his backpack, you kind of just, like, reform and just tear his backpack open, spewing all his uh, contents on the ground as you reform, scan on top of his shit. <laughs> I just shake my head with my pipe in my mouth. Like, that was a hell of a trip. It's a hell of a bottle of water. Hey, what's, all this sh what's all this shit on the floor? Hey, guys. I don't mind it. Don't mind it. Alrighty. Uh, anyway, Atlas, it was a duck. What was? What you were what you were playing charades with me before earlier, right? You bamfed in, you said a bunch of things to me, and then you bamfed out. You were it was a duck, was? <laughs> That's what you were trying to do, right? I'd forgotten about that. <laughs> oh, so I wasn't right, or was I? No, it's like, oh no, we're all gonna die. Yes. Uh oh. Time is of the essence. Um, Atlas, why don't you take Nate uh, to the first house and explain to him on the way? Sure, I do that. I retain all the knowledge completely. So it was a hag, huh? The hushed hag. Hushed hag? Oh, I know about her. Do you now? Yeah, read a story about her. I didn't think she was actually real, though. You know, uh, can't even shout, can't even cry. Hushed Hag is coming by. That's the one. Sweet. So, she's real? Apparently. And she's after our hearts. Oh. It's kind of romantic in a way. In a kind of Lovecraftian sort of way, yeah. Who? Yeah, I know. Huh. You should coin that. Anywho, uh, where are we going? Pull it. <laughs> uh, by the way, DM, I've sent Wick off to the uh, tavern to get them to start barricading the place. Alright. That's, uh, that's doable. So, we've got uh, Nate and Atlas in one team and you are the two in another team going to separate farmsteads and you intend to just bunk it down at each one for the night? Uh, no. Or rush them back to town? Rush. I, I rush thought we back rushing them back. Yeah. Oh, time is of the F essence. Let's go! Yeah, stop dicking around talking about stories. Exactly. Get right. Fine, again. let's fucking go then. <laughs> well, you didn't tell me. All right. Well, I'll just throw a few more tokens into the tavern. Yay! Double time, bitches. Going to be a little bit crowded in here. Crowded but alive. And sitting ducks. Nah, it'll be fine. Better than sure. that way, no matter where they were. Yeah, at least this way we can all die together. Be nice and cozy. Indeed. <laughs> we'll just go to the tavern, have a pint, and wait for this whole thing to blow over. All right. Now the uh, the tavern seems to be a little bit crowded with 17 people total. Uh, squeezed in there a bit. Because I've only got 17 tokens. Uh, so we'll just put that <laughs> at the number. There's uh, upstairs though, right? Yeah, there's upstairs. But I don't actually have a two-story... Uh, tavern map, so... Well, That's I've got a two-room one that looks a bit awkward when you put it in this thing, but I think I did pretty well. I'm getting its uh, dimensions pretty accurate. Did we get the names of all the families with, with the farm locations? The names? I vaguely think the tavern really did so. 
yeah, he told you where everyone was. Rummer told right, where everyone but was, but... Uh, did we get their family name? Or, like, the last place we were in, do we have their family I suppose you can ask, but then I'd have to come up with family names, so why? <laughs> I, I, just in case there happens to be a woman here, so we know if there's a missing woman or not still out. Alright, you basically start rushing them back in. Let's say you guys make it, but it's uh, well into night at this point. Um, and, yeah, you just basically ask if this is everyone and just get a general... I think so, from Rama. So. Nobody else missing aside from, uh, I guess, the victims? By the way, it's nice to see you again, Rama. Indeed. But, uh... I don't keep too much track with the locals. Some of these just don't even come into town anymore, so, uh... It looks like everyone. Well... That's about as good as I think we're going to get. Uh, probably not a good idea for anyone to be roaming around at night right now. Uh, I suggest we take some night watches. Make yep. sure every, everyone's, uh, everyone's accounted for. And throughout the night, until the sun comes up at least, we uh, keep tabs on everything. Windows, doors. Uh, you guys got a cellar in here? Uh, we do, but there's no outside access. And we boarded up windows and the door. Uh, good, good. Uh, and upstairs, just to be safe. we've we've locked them as well, so uh, we should be about as good as we can get. Grand, that's grand. Uh, just to make sure, though, uh, I suggest we at least take a gander at the cellar, just to make sure, because uh, those things apparently just popped out of thin air. Who knows where they could end up? All right. So it just gives you a nod, from, takes you down to the cellar. From what my compatriots told me. <laughs> yep. And, uh, yeah, you see, it just looks like a normal storage cellar with uh, the barrels wine, and there's no no light source except for the ones that uh, streams down through the doorway. Um, That's fine. So, I can see in the dark anyway. Yeah, and it, it does look like it's just literally just dug out of earth with a couple of uh, rough-made uh, bit of stonework for the walls and... Yeah, there's not much more you can do for it to reinforce it because it's already, as well as you know, you can block and barricade the door to it if you want. Um, maybe board that up as well. Idea. But all right, so yeah, you can take a few minutes doing that. Uh, basically, just uh, nailing one of the one of the uh, taverns stools and chairs to it, uh, bench seats, I suppose. While he goes off with the tavern owner, I'm going to uh, uh, I want to go outside with Wick. I want to set up locations with uh, torches or candles. Would I be able to do that? Yeah. How many candles do you have? I have thirty. All right. So yeah, you can street light the place up if you really choose to. I went around the edges of the building um, and using Wick. Uh, I'd also like to, I guess, eh, just do that. I just want some visibility around the building um, because I'm going to leave him outside flying above and use him as a, a, a notification of where they may be approaching. All right. No. I don't think he has dark vision, so that's why I'm lighting the place up. So he's basically just your uh, early warning system. Yep. Yep. No, that's a uh, that's a good idea. Perfectly valid. Okay. So how many of your uh, candles do you wish to use? I'll use however many it takes to make it very visible. All right. I'll use all thirty if I have to. Yeah. Well, uh, candles don't give off much uh, light source initially. It's only like um, perhaps about fifteen feet of dim light sort of radius uh, and it's a fairly big tavern so you would probably be looking at it at least 20 of them I'll leave you a few okay I don't know if anyone has any torches as well that, that, that'd probably help I do I got a uh, let's see how many do I have uh, one torch oh shit he has dark vision of 60 feet but still it'd be it'll be useful I have dark vision in 120 feet it's not uh, a pissing contest. <laughs> you don't want to be outside. Uh, no, we don't. Yeah, 
Uh, okay, dark vision, 60 feet. Uh, he'll fly around, but we'll keep it lit up as well. Okay, and Dig fingers it. crossed they don't have any ranged attacks. Yes. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> Yay. He's not going to be engaging them in any way. Can he fly stealthy? Fly stealthy? He can give it a roll if you want. Can he not turn invisible? Uh, no. Yeah. Oh, maybe he can. Hold on. Is he, is he a pact of the chain? I he thought is. they'd be able. To, I think yes. those familiars can turn. Not all of them. Ooh. Nope. My dragon does not have invisibility. That's Damn a it. closet and sprite. Not the dragon. Yeah, basically What's every other, uh, it's just Very a demon thing. Um, so yeah, a bit of ambience there, I think it's fitting. Yep. Alright, so That's for an 11 stealth. free stealth check, uh, that is not great, but fingers crossed. Alright, so you guys are now all racked in with uh, with the people, and it's uh, getting a bit crowded as you've basically just blocked off and boarded the possible entryways from the top and the bottom, just in case these creatures can like apparate through things as smoke monsters or whatever. I mean, it's better safe than sorry. Uh, right. I'm sitting on the bar. <laughs> Pull out my sword and just cradle it like a... like a... like You're a rhyme. child. Yeah, that too. I guess I'll be actively looking through Wick's eyes, but I'm, I'm chilling on the bar. I'll be actively perceiving... All right, so yeah, if you want to actively perceive, uh, give me a perception check from Wick and a perception check from uh, you, Nate. Way to start us off. That'll be my only nat 20 this game. Think positive. I always do. All right, so yeah, Nate, as your looking about the place just through the cracks in the new boarded up windows um, you see some sort of movement in the darkness and you watch as one of the candles that uh, Shay so helpfully brushed out and put up just before just seems to and then go dark as something ran right past it with a bit of speed and just blew it out just by the air and um, yeah you catch a catch a glimpse of it uh, out of the corner of your eye through that little crack and it basically looks like a naked pit bull uh, and you're like hmm, pretty sure that's one of them and well uh, yep I'll just nonchalantly light up my pipe and just kind of start nervously puffing up we're uh, we're probably going to be getting surrounded here in a minute alright and Wick as uh flies over and starts looking down giving it a bird's eye view his attention is immediately drawn to that little bit of light that just seems to disappear out of his periphery and then um, yeah zooms down a little bit closer to get a view and he immediately starts counting a couple more coming off the distance and gets the impression that they are moving around in a circle uh, with the building at the center and currently I'd say for a 19 you can count five all right, I will inform the group, and if I see them headed towards one section of the building versus another, um, I will let them know so that they don't get this drop off. Do we have our voices? Yep. Yes. Yep, you can still talk at the moment. Yay. So, me, 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 me. As uh, Nate looks out uh, the front window... Most of the villagers, specifically the, you know, unfamiliar farmer types that probably are just a little bit out of their depth at the moment, just start to crowd in the corners. I wouldn't stand near any of the windows if I were you folks. Right. And, uh, yeah, following suit, almost wordlessly um, and docile, almost uh, sheep-like, they back up a few feet uh, off the walls but they still seem to be huddled together in uh, roughly two groups that have just, uh, you know, safety in numbers mentality, I suppose. All right. And on this side, yeah. Wicks, uh, paying attention as one of the creatures seems to crawl forward, and the rest of you guys can uh, hear this and feel a unison intake of uh, air as you hear this scratch 
across one of the boarded windows as Saswick sees one of the creatures roll up and with a big giant clawed finger just go and then just back off a little bit as by this stage a couple more are coming from opposite sides and are just tentatively scratching at uh, the, the doorways and the windows and by this stage Wick is dealing with half a dozen that seem to be just slowly crawling up from all uh, different sides and surrounds just scratching at it and by this stage let's say See. the uh, villagers are a little bit uh, worried as well as one little girl who was taken to sobbing and is being quietly hushed by Rama. I cast mage armor on myself. Good idea. All right. So uh, I'd like to use uh, Eldritch Sight and uh, do detect magic and see if there's anything in this room that would be untoward. I'll go say hi to the little girl and try to console her a bit. Okay. So hey, detect- want to see a trick? <laughs> All right. Uh, Give me a Stop just a general wall, charisma check. Dog. Me? <laughs> yeah, just a general charisma check. Sure. And uh, yeah, your detect magic spell. Uh, mainly, you'd... well, yeah, you walk around the room a little bit and don't pick anything up in particular. Nothing uh, except for the various magical items on your own uh, own party members. So it doesn't seem to be uh, anything inside except uh, sure. that elven woman who has now drawn that half-sword, half-knife thing, uh, there's a ping coming off that blade. Okay. I'll, uh, I'll go up to her. Good idea. Pardon me. Uh, what exactly was your name again? Diocha. Diocha. Do you know how to use that thing? Stick him with the pointy end. I mean the other elements of the magic. What magic? That is a magic blade you hold in your hands. What kind of magic was it? It's basically just a plus one enchant. Uh, okay, sorry. I didn't mean for, for you to give that away, but uh, I meant more like the uh, school, yeah, school magic. Yeah, magic. It's basically... Yeah, it'll be enchantment, uh, but the various lighter. So you, like, you've got plus one weapons yourself as as the group. It's basically identical to that. Uh, so okay. it's it's something you can deduce pretty easily. Uh, that is a very special blade. Keep it close, and we will be counting on you to protect these innocents. Well, I don't plan on giving it up anyway. I would hope not. All right. Give me a perception check for Wick, would you? Sure. It's not great at these. <laughs> All right. Well, it doesn't really need to be when most of these fellows roll natural ones for their stealth checks, but <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> um. Okay. So, uh, yeah. The, you basically halt the sobbing of this little girl as she's no longer making a noise as she watches this butterfly, but you certainly haven't cheered her up as she's still got that uh, dour expression but seems a little bit distracted. Oh, and, uh, yeah, Wix is trying his best to, to keep an eye on all of them and is now dashing around the outside, making sure he can get, uh, get views and not be obstructed by the building at any point. And then suddenly you guys hear just a big woof against the front door as uh, Wick hears the cue and rushes back over and sees one of the ghoulish creatures backing up and then just running head first in the door and smacking it full force with a shoulder charge. And from inside, you can see the door just go pfft, shift almost a full inch and shudder before landing back into place. One of the boarded uh, sections that used to serve as a bench seat for one of the tables now just seems to creak and come loose. And now an inch off the uh, door and the big nails used to hammer it drop to the floor. Can we Eldritch Blast through the, the boarded-up windows? Uh, it's not exactly a bit of range. You will take out the windows doing so. Yeah, but they're boarded up, right? Yeah, they're boarded up. Not, like, flat. You can see cracks through it where you can see through. You might be able to reach a hand through if you really tried, but an Eldritch Blast with a bit of force, it's it's going to 
you know, do some damage to the windows, most likely. Uh, like, I don't care about the glass. I just, uh, you're saying I would, I would reinforce them. Basically, you yeah. can LG blast through them, but you're opening up a pathway for them. Yeah, not worth it. Got it. Yeah, definitely not worth it. Okay. Hey, if actually, one starts funneling into uh, a window or a door, that might help us. It'll keep us from getting surrounded. Yeah, I'm all about not getting surrounded. Yeah. I'm going to cast uh, Toll the Dead on one. That should be able to. I just have to point at the, the one that I was striking the door. I'd like to start attacking it. All right, so you'd have to see that rather than Wick. Uh, okay, so you're, you're counting not being able to, like, looking through his eyes doesn't count? Uh, basically, you can see the creature through that, but you've still got a point at it, um, and you, you still need that line of sight from you, the caster, to the creature, unless you're using touch-based spells through the familiar. So, you, as the, um, the caster, still need line of sight, but you can use his eyes to get a view of him, if that follows. It, it basically... You still need that line of sight for casting requirement. Um, but honestly, you can point, you can stick your hand through the uh, the cracks and point at him, um, and I'll allow that without risking any sort of damage. So uh, okay, I ignore that second one. He's not injured anyways, but yeah, I'll fix that charisma. Yeah, I think he had the same thing on your bolts as well. Well, if if he has agonizing no, blast, blade. oh. That's what it was. Okay, so wisdom save. They're not that great. Uh... Good to know. Okay. So yeah, you basically just uh, using Wick to give you a bit of triangulation. You find a spot um, off one of the side windows and you can see the front door. Look through the glass and give him a point and then suddenly he just seems to well, arc up Mid mid stride on his third attempt to strike it, he just seems to stumble and give out a give out a small, almost wordless uh, screeching sound as he scutters in the dirt and then just turns tail and just runs back out past the uh, past the border of the candlelight. <laughs> uh, yep. We can. I'll, uh, anyone else has any abilities that can target that way? Uh, Not unless uh, unless we're blasting a hole through this. Alright, well, um, yeah, Corwin takes a shot at one of the creatures with crossbow and bolt, but trying to wedge that thing through a crack in the in the uh, the windows just doesn't let you get the aim off, and it just goes a little bit wide and just arcs off into the distance. You hear a thud as it impacts some other building um, with a bit of force, but uh, misses the creature by perhaps half a metre. I think I scared one of them. <laughs> and, uh, Shay, I need you to make a dexterity check. Well, saving throw, actually. Oh wow! Nice. All right. So, Shay, as you start to back up and then go back around to the other group and look around and regain your perch, I suppose, uh, at the bar, you hear a thud behind you and instinctively just duck out of the way. And suddenly, all you guys realize that, dude. This place has a chimney, and nobody bothered to check it. Too bad. <laughs> Shit. Jeez. Wick, drop the ball. Yeah, <laughs> he couldn't keep an eye on all of them, unfortunately. So you guys watch as uh, Shay just basically narrowly avoids this clawed hand that just dashes out of the fireplace and goes straight for him. And um, let's get some battle music, and you guys can well, roll shit. for initiative. Oh shit, is Chase still wounded? Wait, am I still wounded? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah I'm, <laughs> yeah, I'm still wounded. We never oh. took a long, a short rest. Oh damn! Nope. Didn't really have the option unless you want to. No, yeah, I mean say, eight oh, hours. No. Jesus, Rama, you take watch. We're gonna have a nap. <laughs> yeah. Shit, I should have used the healing potion. I had one here. Yeah, I totally didn't even realize I was still wounded. Ah uh, well. We'll right. be fine. We'll be fine. <laughs> Okay. Oh, 
Jesus. Oh, seven. I knew it. <laughs> not good, son, not good. Nope. Kill it! Okay, so, uh, Corn, you're up as you... Well, Che, I'll, I'll let you have a, uh... Well, I'll let you say something as, uh, just a reaction of getting swiped at. <laughs> okay. Pork. So that's a, <laughs> that, that's enough for our call and to look over the direction and uh, seize the uh, a situation. Oh shit! They're coming down the fucking chimney. Oh. Damn it! The chimney, the Bonus one action. freaking thing. Bonus action still. All right. Whoop, 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 whoop. <laughs> okay, I think you're good. Yeah. So Colin yeah. just disappears from the room. Like crossbow. On. Disappears Sneakies. from this plane. All right, and nice. do you have sharpshoot or anything like that? Nope. All right, because unfortunately this fella counts as three quarters cover as he's blocked by people and the fireplace. Ooh, uh, back. So, actually, just let me double check. He came that. out of the chimney. He came, yeah, down the chimney into the fireplace and is now scratching from inside. So he's a bit harder to hit. I'm gonna eighteen to hit then. All right, now plus sixteen. That's right. Yeah. Okay. So three quarters cover is a plus five bonus to their AC. So that's a Damn twenty it. to their AC. Ooh. So you just fall short with a nineteen. Ooh. Uh, yep, that's it for me. Atlas. Atlas. Firebolt seems like a bad idea at the moment, so I'm going to use Ray of Frost. Okay, Ray of Frost is range attack. Uh, natural ones to miss anyway. Anything else? <sighs> I move forward slightly in the crowd. Alright, that's it. That's okay. it for me. And then, as you guys Hello. are concentrating on the first one, another one seems to crawl, and this one's coming upside down. Uh, outside the fireplace, squeezes past his buddy and now crawls basically up the wall with apparent effortless ease. As it Ugh. rushes around, hanging off the wall, just reaches out, almost galloping along. And as Atlas rushes up and tries to take up a position closer, this one just comes out of the side and goes for a slash against him. Uh, so, first attack. Uh, okay. Okay, so that's a 20 for the first attack, with his that claws. That still hurts. And, uh, yeah, I'll just have it try and tongue you to death with a second. Okay, so that's a 23 for the second. That still hurts. Okay, so uh, with the claws, you take 12 points of slashing damage, and I need you to make a constitution saving throw. I'm supposed to be good at this. Come on. Seriously, yeah, that's it, story of my life. It wasn't a high, um, high AC, but you still fail, and you just feel your muscles lock up as these guys seem to paralyze with their claws. And second one hits you um, with its tongue, so you take. No, I didn't have that wrong. Uh, you take nine points of poison damage, and I need you to make another constitution saving throw. Yeah, okay, you shrug that one off. So you don't take any poison damage, um, so you're not poisoned, um, but you do seem to lock up as the... whatever potent venom or uh, coating they seem to have on their claws seem to paralyze with a touch. And Nate, back around to you. Okay. With all this crowd of people, can I be able to get here or no? Uh, you can move through them, it, uh, basically at half speed, so it just takes you 10 okay. feet of movement to move 5 feet, but you can't end your turn on their token. Right, let me see, so that would be 10, 20... And uh, yeah, and... The, the roof of this place isn't high enough for them to be out of range, so gotcha. they're always in melee range, regardless of where they are. So... Moving here would take about 25 feet, I think. Or... So, 
Yeah. I'm that right. Yeah. So it's, yeah, 30 yeah, movement. 20 mo So, if, yeah, 40 movement to get to there, essentially. Okay, gotcha. If you're going mm. through people, more or less. You'd have five feet of extra movement if you go there. Gotcha. The space open. <laughs> Rather not do that. You have mobile, right? I do. But I don't think that I don't think that works through like moving through people. No. No, I mean it just gives you extra movement speed, right? Yeah, I have forty movement speed with mobile. Okay, I'm gonna shoot at the one attacking Atlas with a uh, two bolts of uh, L. Okay, and it's up on the wall, um, clear view, so there's no uh, no cover bonus for him. So give it a roll. Right. I'll just give him a finger gun and blind. Ooh. Damn it! Your second one is a hit though, uh, so ten Yay. points. <sighs> Come on! Just look down at my hand. So yeah, you do some damage to the poor fellow's walls as you uh, crack the first one just ahead of it, which seems to stop in and it's continuous assault against uh, Atlas, and then it just turns to look at you just in time for the second one to hit it fair in the face. Anything else for you? Uh, nah, it'll do me. Okay. Number three. Oh, yeah. Does the same crawls over, but this one heads over to the left. Onto this fella. And just pounces as his back's turned. As he tries to huddle back towards the rest of his family. And that's a 20 to hit. Uh, <laughs> okay. Yeah. No. Fuck him. Alright. Shay. Okay, he crawls out just to get a bit more of a uh, view stance, rolls a 7 to attack, <laughs> and then a 13. Lucky me. Alright, Shay, <laughs> back around. Well, finally comes to you. Uh, okay. Um, shit. We gotta start killing some of these. It's for real. Fireball! <laughs> uh, I'm actually gonna do... Yeah, let's see how this goes. Uh, I'm gonna cast Bane on these three. Need a charisma saving throw. <clears throat> All right, and that's basically a negative D4. All right. Correct. Very cool. The opposite of bless. Uh, crit. Yes. Oh, they're not the most charismatic. I'd give you that. I wouldn't have thought so. <laughs> oh, man. No, man, that tongue though. That's one. Fail, one success, one fail. Okay, so two fails and a success. Uh, the middle one succeeds, the two on the sides fail, and I'll give him that shitty little heart icon for Bane. Alright. All right. So they are Baned. I'm Bane. Um. Shit. Can Wick now, you know, check the chimney? Are they all coming through? Alright. Perception check for Wick. Wow. I'll be right back. All right. There's another in the chimney. The rest uh, seem to be still scattered about the place, testing the uh, outside edges. So there's at least one more coming down, currently wedged in the chimney on its way. Great. But it's the last one that he can see heading that route. I sure wish I had some meta magic left. Uh, I'm done. All right. Well, fingers crossed. Let's see, is that yeah. other one? The only one to roll lower than you. Let's say he goes up, gets to the other side, and just takes up a tag teaming stance uh, with the one in front of you. And, uh, yeah, claw attack. Here's a 7. Christ. Tongue attack, 22. Alright. Yeah, so I think that hits, yeah. So. Uh, You take six points of poison damage, and I need you to make a constitution saving throw. I'm back. What's going on? Another one came in. Okay. So, yeah. Ignoring that. As you just get ready to face the one that's currently in front of you, just see out of the corner of your eye a second one that comes crawling out upside down through the chimney, takes a swipe at you and you miss, and as you turn around to try and deal with it directly, it just grazes you with the tongue, and you barely feel it. Um, but, uh, you realize that you're in a bad way. Corwin. Yep. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. 
Uh, I will use my tiny stature. Nice. To move my way. Mm -hmm. 5, 10, 15, 20. Right down there. And I will go after the one to my top right. Alright, cool. Cool. They all right here. And nice. a dagger offhand. Snack uh, attack. Uh, right. Sneak out. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> Double uh, two sixes. Give me a second, I just gotta check on what my dog's, dog's barking at. Sure. Back in a sec. Nice snack attack, man. Uh, don't. If we're gonna target down targets, leave the ones that I've baned alone. Um, gotcha. The, of all four of them, they're gonna be the uh, the ones that are least threat. How terrible would it be if I cast darkness in this situation? Uh, well, there's a room full of people that would suddenly be blinded and completely not understand the situation. So that is what I was thinking. They, I, they, I think I got pretty scattering. Alright, so I hate or that dog, but stampeding that's one another. To kill that outright. As you just pummel the crap out of it. As you seem to just duck under that second one as it swipes at uh, Shay. Jump up, land on the mantle of the uh, the fireplace, and then just dive straight for that uh, that first one. And you just like like a like a torpedo. You just blade first, whoosh, dig in and eviscerate it. Um, Say so you're gonna need a bath after this, but. Uh, it was very impressive in action movie how you pulled that off. Anything else for you, Corwin? <laughs> uh, nice. That'll be it for me. Atlas. Uh, at the end of your turn, you can repeat the. <laughs> okay. Atlas has had enough <laughs> of being paralyzed. So, Fuck uh, that shit. He shrugs it off at the part of his turn. And then we go for this one. Who is going to go after Corwin? Atlas, you can have a attack of opportunity if you want. So you decide to punch it. All right. Uh, one point of damage. <laughs> As it, uh, <clears throat> it seems content that it's uh, got you sorted, and then sees Cole and eviscerate one of his teammates and immediately starts rushing over. You shrug off the effect of his uh, paralytic poison, and as he walks up, you just give him a solid fist in the ass. Uh, and then he goes over to Corwin and attacks. So that's a 24, so regardless of what he rolls, like he's going to hit yeah. you. Oof. So you take five points of slashing damage with two natural ones on a damage roll, great. Um, and I need you to make a constitution saving throw. Oh boy. And you ignore the effects of the paralyzing. And second attack is going to miss regardless of what he rolls, so all right. Nate. You said five points? Uh, you take five points but. of slashing damage from his claws. Yep. He just barely manages to right. nick you. And you just shrug... Whatever the poison he um, used, you just shrug off because you barely got a taste of it. And uh, Nate's up. Okay. Move down here. So we're not going for the Bane guys first. Gotcha. No. Okay. You've got go one for... currently occupied on Shay, one currently occupied on Corwin, and the other one with the hard cross him seems to be going after the villagers. So it's up to you. Yes. Hmm. I'd say if we want to be hero, if we want to be alive, <laughs> we do. Save us. Very least, try and lock them down with opportunity attacks. Yeah, might be a good idea, huh? Yeah, that's what I'll do. I'll position myself. If I could move my token, please. Roll, roll twenty. Thank you. Okay. There we go. So yeah, I'm going after the one right to my right. right. Okay, so the one on Shay. Uh, first one's a hell of a hit. Second one's a bit shy, though. You just get the impression that weaving that giant fucking greatsword sized mandible is just a bit uh, bit harsh in this sort of cramped in arena. So your second strike, just to avoid hitting any of the other villagers who all seem to be moving and rushing away, you just pull it up short and uh, like stop halfway through your second swing just in case you decapitated the poor villager in, uh, in your backhand. But the first one I just stare ahead. over at my sword and just damn it, Elgar, come on! By the way, guys, there is a eleven 
uh, dice roll sitting for anyone. Okay. Take Actually, uh, let me let me spend a I lucky think. point on that last uh, swing if I could. Yep. Yep. Okay. Try this again. Okay. <laughs> okay. Lucky <laughs> enough. <laughs> so you do thirty-one points of damage. Uh, guess how much health it had left. Thirty-two. Thirty-one on the dot after oh, the first strike. So uh, yeah, Appreciate talk about it. lucky. Uh, you get dead on lucky <laughs> with your second one as you. Strike forward and then strike with your second. Pull up just shy so you don't uh, avoid uh, necking one of the villagers. And then you just come forward with the with the butt end of it instead and just smash the thing right in the teeth. And, and just adjust my hat. <sighs> <Come on. laughs> I'll just point at the other one that's harassing the village and it's just like, Come on, doggy. Come on. Come on. See what. Alright, so that it for you, Nate? Yeah, that'll do me. Okay, so we go back to this one, who has basically eviscerated that poor chap and goes for a leap across to the next one. Nate, you can have an attack of opportunity if you want. Lovely. Fuck. Yeah, back to your normal rolls. Uh, Tell you what, I'm going to use another lucky point if I can, or is that is that just once it's... It's uh, Whenever you make once... an attack roll, ability check, or saving throw, you can spend one lucky. Yeah, there's no term limit on it. So, uh, yeah, if you want to blow a lucky on an opportunity attack, go Fuck nuts. it, I don't care. Fuck! You're getting worse. Alright. I know. So, uh, Mine's yeah, not quite the 11. lucky. Take the 11. You got 19 damage You've already there. affected the uh, dice roll. That'll count as a secondary effect on a single dice roll, so... You choose one or the other, you can't just keep trying. Alright. So that's oh, yeah. a 9, so it's going to miss regardless. That's a 19, so it's going to hit regardless. You just like close your eyes before you swing at anything. So I get disadvantage? Sure. Yep. Super advantage. <laughs> so uh, he's paralyzed, but not quite dead, as I didn't bother doing health bars for all these, otherwise it'd fill up the screen. But that second guy is looking in a pretty bad way. That guy is dead. Back around to Shay. Yeah. Um. Guess I'll smack the one next to me. Do a right back. Uh, I can hear it. Bonus action shillelagh, and then uh... shillelagh. Bam. Booming blade shillelagh. Yep. Alright, so you give it a smack and booming blade it up. Anything else for you, Shay? Um. I really don't want to get hit. Uh. No, I guess I'll stay so that Corwin can get his sneak attack in. Alright, cool. Corwin. I was going to go help the fucking villagers. <laughs> Alright, uh. Dagger offhand. On the one next to me. Alright, that's a hit. With the sneakies. Dagger, dagger, dagger. Okay, and pretty fucked mobile. Up right now. My way over here. Stepping around that so as the do not desecrate our lovely villagers. And yeah, yeah, yeah attack all those corpses. That's another hit. Alright. Nice. So not bad. And that'll be it. Atlas, what do you want to do? I'm going to throw a fireball at the, uh, the one near. Which one? The near death one. The near death one. All right. So uh, yeah. I shouldn't have bothered. <laughs> A bit overkill. Um, but yeah, as you just fire off your firebolt and go, and it just seems to pass straight through it. And you watch as this creature just turns to look at you, and now there's a fist-sized hole in its chest where the fireball just went and impacted. The smell of rotted Please. meat, um, getting burnt, just seems to fill up the small area. And then it's just... chimneys behind him. Yeah. Yes, yes, the stone chimney is behind him. He's not setting the place on fire. And this this creature just slowly a couple of fingers release off the wall and then a couple more and it eventually just goes and thuds to the ground. Um, I'm going to try and use the rest of my turn to hold the door in place. By which I mean I'm going to lean it and lean against it and bleed out again onto onto 
Okay, well the door is here. Can you make it? I didn't see that. Where was it? Right here. I'm not seeing that either. Not seeing um, it. Yeah, I'm not seeing that. Sorry. Oh. Top right, bottom left. That one. Oh, it's probably there. <laughs> there we go. Okay. Oh, okay. Yeah, I see it now. Sorry, I was on a different. Yeah, I don't tag. think I, I. don't think I can make it that make it that far, but. All right. So you're just gonna stay there. I'll stay here. Yeah. Okay. So maybe not the best of choice. Yeah. And this one finally makes it through the door. Hey. Oh, oh dear. Party. That one's dead. Nate, you're up. Well, shit. Alright. Go right here. Alright, buddy. Let's give it a shot. Just stare down at my sword. It's like, come on, Elgar. Come on. Get a shot at the guy to my left. Upper. Yep, the first one that came through the door. Both of those are a hit. Good, finally. That's more than half his damage there. Alright, anything else for you, Nate? Uh, let's see. No, that'll do me. Okay, so we go back around to this fella, who's on this fella. Uh, yeah, with advantage, that's a hit regardless. That guy is dead. Yeah. He's going to rush forward and get in the midst of him. Uh, Nate and Corn, you can use your reactions to tackle opportunity. <laughs> oh shit! Damn. So that's uh. That's enough. Thirty. Yeah. Forty-six. Forty-six. Cool. Good work, my friend. All right. Um, let's see. I just point over at Corwin. Yeah. Yep. As you land two strikes straight on this new arrival see the movement out of the corner of your eye and you just turn around and do a backhand as Corwin comes through with a forehand and you guys just basically dissect this thing into a couple of pieces as now bits and pieces fly over and land in the face of this poor woman sorry woman yeah, she looks like she needed a bath anyway was that 30 feet of movement? Uh, you'll be going through them so yeah it'll be 30 feet of movement to get to them as you'll be pushing past Corwin in that villager for an extra five, so yep. Woohoo! Yep. That's my turn. I'll booming blade and then run ten feet back, which actually put me there to try and help trigger it. Alright, well. Don't bother. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, and I think that's. Yep, that's all of them. Okay! So you go, just kind of dance through the group pound on this uh, last one and then jump back for its reaction and it just doesn't move and doesn't get up. Is there, <laughs> is there any furniture that's not already like bolted down? The tables, that's, I suppose. Let's start putting some tables yeah. on that ch on that uh, door. And, uh, and the and yeah, the fireplace. Definitely. Yeah. Uh, does anyone need health potions? I have two. I suggest someone use them. And uh... Okay. You guys watch as those bodies of the creatures are now just slowly starting to dissipate and turn into turn into mist and a small scorch mark on the ground as they just vanish into smoke. Some of which seem to curl up and just go out the chimney like normal wood smoke. What does Wix see? Perception check. Let's see what he does see. Okay. Uh, no more breaches through the candle line. Uh, nothing else within his dark vision sight. He detects no one else. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna heal up too. Yep. First yeah. Use it. Alice, you good on healing potions, or you want one of mine? I used my last one. Gotcha. Have another. 44 plus 4. Can I use my empowerment spell to... <laughs> to, to boost potions? No. Alright. So you guys, you know, quickly uh, swig your healing potions, which I'm glad you guys are now uh, using. Uh, and you see that uh, one of the... 
one of the men rushes over to the first killed uh, fella, and you'd probably peg the the dead guy at no more than about eighteen, nineteen, and he's just yeah. uh, down on his knees, screaming, "That's my son, my boy!" And he's uh, gone into hysterics as the uh, woman who is still caked. Um, in a couple of marks where the the flesh of the creature seems to have wisp and burnt off and is now leaved. Small red patches look like first degree burns on uh, various points of the forehead. Rushes over and, and hugs the man and, and tries to console him. They're dead, Jim. <laughs> <laughs> so Corwin just runs over, rubs it in their faces and runs back. <laughs> Essentially. Uh, We're sorry, sir. We We did all we could. That damn thing just leaped right through the air. We're going to get these fucks. I promise you. Or I'm going to die as per the script usually demands. Yeah. I don't say that in character. Okay, so what do you guys want to do? Apart from uh, reinforce the place. Take yeah, a break. We're... Reinforce, take a break. We can take shifts on glancing out of the windows. Alright, so if you guys want to basically do a four-point staggered watch... Uh, you guys can basically keep an eye out and still have your short rest as you wait through the night, provided nothing else yeah. jumps through and tries to kill you. All right. All right. So uh, yeah. give you eight. I need a perception check from each one of you guys, and I'll just take the order at which they pop up as to the order of your watch. So not having dark vision, I would be at disadvantage, correct? Uh, yeah. If you don't have, basically, no, if least. it's either disadvantage or I just take five off your roll. Jesus wow, Wick. that was Wick with an actual. So, I think Wick by this stage he rushes over and uh, makes sure no one else is coming by looking down the chimney. Just basically gets a gets a big fall of the smoke that came off these creatures, and it just doesn't sit well with him. His eyes go a bit red as he starts blinking profusely, trying to get it out of his eyes. And Maybe Wick's blind. Moments, <laughs> for the next couple of moments, he just uh, doesn't see much. Um, okay. So, you guys do your best to console the the group. Um, maybe pull the dead fellas off to the yeah, side. Yeah, we're gonna know. we're gonna move the bodies onto a bench that isn't being used as a barrack. Yep, and you grab some no. blankets from upstairs. Just what I was about to think. Yeah, I don't want a invisible hag to come snatch these bodies and take their hearts. Um, I'm gonna stay near them. Good idea. Cool. Use my blind sense to try and sense anything right. that comes pops it. No problem. So you, you do the honourable thing and just take care of the uh, the the fallen members. And, right, this the the father of the uh, of one of the fellows doesn't leave his side. And you almost get the you distinct impression that these were the parents. Um, and yeah. They, they stay right up next to him. The father's holding the hand of his uh, his dead son, and you know you bandage him up with a couple of torn blankets and, and cover him so he's you know, it's not quite as gruesome and then um, you know, he didn't take the watch I'll, uh, I'll light some candles and uh, hand my flask to the to the parents offer it to them yep okay that's that's good okay so during your watch uh, yeah you I'll keep a vigil and notice that the father hasn't slept at all as uh Actually, give me a ro give me an insight check. Oh, by the way, I, I texted you this. Um, do, would it be alright if I put proficiency in insight instead of stealth? It's uh, something I forgot to change before I started. Yeah, I don't really mind if you guys want to alter a background or something just to change the skill proficiency. You've got, as long as you take away from one to give to another when you create a character. Yeah, exactly. Right. I mean, you, feel free to ask if you want to just rearrange things for you know a bit more of a character focus flavor to what you do but yeah if you, cool. that that's perfectly fine so uh give me a insight roll against the father oof okay so uh yeah the best you can detect is he's not he's no longer speaking he's no longer crying um and the best that you can pick up is he's just rigid um and holding on to onto the body uh Okay, so Nate, at first watch, you, uh, yeah. with probably the best dark vision of the group, uh, you take the first watch and keep an eye out. And, yeah, as far as you can tell, you watch as the candles now burn down to nothing. And 
one by one just seem to go out and the rest of the place is bathed in darkness. You can't even see the stars as some sort of cloud cover seems to be taken over and it is now probably the darkest it gets in these parts. But throughout uh, your two hours on watch, nothing seems to happen. You settle down. Uh, no one afraid of the dark, I hope. So, <laughs> Shane, yeah, you go through your routine. Keep watch. Console the parents. Do your little uh, candlelight vigil for the fallen. Um, the mother just walks by and gives you a hand on the shoulder without saying a word and, and then goes back to her husband. Yeah, Adrian, um, Atlas, sorry. Same deal for you. <laughs> you. You don't see anything through the through the gaps and all seems quiet. Corwin, however, being the most eagle-eyed of the group, at a range that's probably the barest... You don't have dark vision as a half do you? Nope. <laughs> okay. So probably about 40 feet through one of the gaps in the windows, you see a smiling set of teeth, and half a second later it just seems to disappear. Fuck's sake. Scream. Seriously, do it. Just scream. <laughs> Constitution roll to hold in the screen. I'm, bet I, I, I'm betting that a uh, scream will kill her. <laughs> <laughs> What? What? Fucking... What is it? There's something out there. Well... Uh, yeah. No shit. What'd you see? That's all teeth. <laughs> My hair wasn't already white. It probably would be after that. The bodies uh, are still there, yeah? Yep. Still there. Yeah. As, uh, yeah, Corwin wakes up the group. Uh by default, as well as many of the villagers. But, try as you might, you can't prove what you saw as there's nothing out there. Even even Nate with his uh, superior dark vision can't see anything. Where are you pointing? I swear I saw something. I think we need to go oh. outside and investigate it. Oh, Atlas has dark uh, vision as well. Yep. Yes, he does. But, uh, 60 foot for you, I believe, isn't it? Yeah. Yep. Alright, so, um, basically... She's out there. It's uh, whether you guys want to go hunt her down or not. If I you think believe, it's better if we go out there rather than it coming in here. We and can't protect these guys that way. We can't, but she could be luring us into a trap. And you haven't finished your short rest yet. No. And if you spend more than an hour trying to hunt her down, you'll waste a short rest. So it's up to you guys. Not, to, not to mention, there's two fresh, uh, <clears throat> with all due respect bodies uh, that are ripe for the picking for her, and she only needs one more heart. Possibly two. two. Yeah. Two. Two, uh, two at the most. We'll put it that way. Yeah. Okay. I don't know. That'd be, a, that'd be a hell of a call. And you can't see out there. Um... I, I personally think we should take the short rest. Alright. So, democracy? Yeah, it's at least my vote. Uh, I, don't, I don't count our chances good if we go out there. I personally vote staying inside as well. And, you know, that's assuming Corwin just isn't seeing things. Well, given the night we've been having, I'll believe any. Safe than sorry, yeah. Exactly. Alright, so you guys want to finish short rest? No problem. Yeah. Uh, yeah, Sick you can finish short rest, short rest as uh, dawn cracks uh, in the village of Teeham and no other commotion occurs during the night. <sighs> so, short rest up your character sheets. Alright. What are we going to do, folks? On her down. That's a given. Uh, what about the uh, the body? Sorry. I would definitely not recommend burying them in a cemetery right now. They'll just get dug up and, you know, that. The, uh, the parents that I spent the night with, um, are they nearby? 
Yep, um, you basically... Actually, give me a perception check. Alright. You go over to find them and immediately start picking up the kind of angry hush whisper tone of the woman. Basically boils down to, please don't go. And the man, sullen and silent, seems to be collecting <laughs> the biggest knives in the tavern. Okay, I'll approach him. I'll approach him too. I understand your uh, initial reaction to this. However, for your son's memory to remain intact, you must protect his body. She will be returning for him, and we cannot be there while we go hunt her down. To keep his memory alive, use these weapons you have gathered to protect him so that she cannot get her hands on him, on what remains. You can't leave your wife alone, sir. You're all she's got now. Alright. I liked what you said, uh, Shay. So give me a persuasion check with advantage. Nice. Over 20. Right. Just makes it. As uh, you watch, um, Nate, the... I mean, you've probably seen this before. It's basically the look of someone who has stopped caring whether they live or die. Uh, just Absolutely. Just reached that point of anger and frustration where they're just... Uh, yeah, willing to jump into the mouth of hell, uh, and you just see that uh, those eyebrows just seem to shift with uh, with Shay's words, and you immediately see that uh, yeah, he's hit on the right points. As the guy just stops, he hears a clatter of a knife that hits the floor, and then you just watch a grown man, probably in his late forties, uh, just start to break down and cry. You must be strong for him and for your wife. Protect this body. Do not let her get him. We will be. We will be time. I'll light up my my pipe, and then, as it's smoking pretty well, I'll hand it over to the man. He reaches up and just uh, pushes away as he stands back up now with that big meat cleaver in his hand, and just looks at you, and says. She won't touch him. Gives you a nod. Damn and right. And goes over to stand next to his son. Cool. I'm going to leave them uh, a candle. Good work, man. Nice. Yeah, nice. Thanks for the, thank you for the assist, the uh, advantage. Help. No, that was all you. No, that was, you picked good words, and I thought it was quite convincing, so you can have advantage on those rows. If you, like I said, if you engage with the RP, um, it can only help you. I won't make it harder based on what you say, but if you come up with something nice that I think would fit, then I'll uh, either lower the DC or, or give you advantage on your rolls. Just, oh. just to foster some more of that, uh, you know, immersion. But no, that was very good. And it was a high DC too, it was a 20, so... Alright. So what do you guys want to do? Let's try and hunt that trail down and find out where she's uh, monkering down. Yep. Where we That's last attacked idea. one of those creatures, we can try and follow its trail. Alright. And unlike Nyx, you don't have advantage for tracking undead, do you? Nope. Alright. I don't. I don't know if anyone else does. <laughs> nope. Nope. <laughs> okay, general chorus of nope. We fucked. I have a plus two to survival. Alright, I'll tell you what. Just to see who's the best at you, all of you guys can do a survival check. Well. Okay. Uh, Wick's gonna roll for me. <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right. So you're about evenly split. Two terrible, two pretty good. Okay. They went this way. No, they went this way. No. Okay. So these fellas, just given the sheer length and uh, sharpness of their front claws do seem to leave a distinctive mark given it's a, this fresh um, as you exit out the doorway and 
kind of take care to sidestep rather than taking the direct path so you don't obscure any of the tracks they might have left as uh, that one was rushing towards the door. And yeah, you, uh, Corwin and uh, Shay, with the help of uh, Wick, basically just narrowed down what their tracks look like. Uh, and now that you know what you're looking for, you're able to track it for a significant distance as it basically heads north of the village before it gets lost in tangled growth and uh, grassland and suddenly the tracks aren't quite as clear anymore but you estimate that it's pretty much a direct line uh, to where they're going so if you head off to what appears to be say a rough sort of rocky outcropping with a couple of sparse trees and the very lightest of snow cover Say Corwin, uh, that book of yours, does it happen to say anything about hags? Nope. Damn. All right. Well, the only thing I really know about hags is they're ornery old bitches. They like to be in houses. Not made of candy, usually. What are you talking about? What am I talking about? I'm talking about the motherfucking demon bitch out there trying to eat all of us. Uh, this is uh, a hug um, that was unknown in the book. It may have a different uh, way of operating. Mm. Damn. Certainly not something I have ever heard of. Her lackey sure stink up something. Think we got anything in that bag of our tricks to counteract any of that? Otherwise I might chug me this constitution. That is a good point. Um, I should have uh, spoken to the elven woman. She's still uh, around? Are we technically... Are we out of town? Uh, by this stage, yeah, you're... Um, basically out of sight of the town. Yeah. Um, we could either go back and waste some time, uh, hoping she might have something for us, or we can continue on. You talking about the alchemist? Yeah. Uh, yeah, it is morning. As yet, the alchemist is a halfling. Oh, my bad. I thought the elven woman that I spoke to was the alchemist. Okay. Uh, I got it. Yeah, she's... Well, let's just say she has a different profession. <laughs> Got it. She's actually a spy. Well, spoilers, dude. So what are you going <laughs> to do? Insight roll, nat 20. Yeah, Nathaniel. Yeah, uh, core I just want to go ahead and go. Uh, it, you said that you, you knew about the uh, song? The, I the did, song? yeah. Did it... Yeah. Uh, Say anything about what she might be weakness uh, weak to? Uh, nothing like that. As far as I know, it was just a nice little nursery rhyme to scare kids at night. Give me a history roll. Sure. Let's see, never did history. Um, uh, I'm recalling. God, it's been years since I read that book. All right, I will tell you. That the version that you saw with uh, drawn pictures when you were young leads you to uh, believe that the hushed hag was finally defeated by the princess of five years old. Oh, right. I remember uh, now. How did the princess of five years old, five years old, defeat her? Despite your natural uh, twenty, <laughs> uh, it's still just a twenty, um, so he doesn't quite know yeah, that. Yeah, that's, that's but. Fine. The hero of the story is the five-year-old princess. Uh, didn't really ever go into account. Like, it kind of gave me something vague in the story of, like, her childlike innocence and pure soul was what killed the hag. So, uh, yeah, if we give a five-year-old a sword, I don't think that's just going to... Yeah. There but, were uh, uh, several little girls in the villages uh, that were huddled in the were. tavern around that age. <laughs> Including that one you showed the butterfly to. We could. Yeah, children's laughter has uh, quite the effect on things. That's true. 
I don't know. <laughs> I'm not subjecting a child to this thing. <laughs> I just imagine yeah. you guys rush out of a grab one of the girls, give her the great axe, and then just push her at the hag and cheer her up. Come on, you, you can do it. Uh, Coral and be right behind her, just trying to tickle her with a feather or something. <laughs> yeah. All right. God. That's, yeah. It's weird enough. <laughs> okay, so what do you guys do? I just want to go ahead and go in. We've already come this far. All right. I think Atlas uh, has a plan in any regard. What's your plan, Atlas? My plan is stupid. Let's hear it anyway, because I'm not coming up with much. All right, so... There has to be some kind of reason that she steals voices. I'm, gu I'm guessing that she steals voices because screaming will make her head explode. That's a... Yeah, that's a pretty good idea. I don't know about screams, but maybe some sort of noise or something is really offensive. Well, if what I saw yeah. was her, then I screamed at her pretty good already. Maybe I already killed yeah. her. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we'll find point. her dead body in the woods somewhere. <laughs> yeah, e eardrums ruptured, bled to death. Yep. Let's say, uh, let's go ahead and go. We can give it a shot. If anything, yeah. we can split her head open with some minor illusion sound. Okay, so that's the plan? I guess for now. See if we get our asses handed to us. Alright, uh... I will let two of you roll for survival to continue the tracks. Can one of us help the other to... You can do get one with advantage, advantage if you want. So, decide amongst yourself who gets to roll. They can do it with advantage, or you can have two of you roll to see who gets highest. Uh, Wick will help Nate. Uh, he's got a plus two. I don't think... Yeah, no one has above a plus two. So All right, okay. <laughs> it's on to you, then. Oh, boy. I'll just look up in the sky. Come on, man. New advantage with Wick's help. Just a dragon above That's you giving you a thumbs up. Moral support. 16 ain't bad. Yeah, I'm I'm okay with a 16. Okay. So you've got the general idea of pretty much a straight north uh, north track as you uh, follow. You, see, you think you see like a broken branch here or there. You can't tell if it's uh, how recent it is or what made it, but... You're confident you're on the right track, and it basically leads you to a set of uh, rocky outcroppings at the bottom of this hill. Uh, and you see a tree standing next to what looks like a, an opening of some sort, just a section where two rather large, almost square-like sections of rock that had tumbled down the hi uh, hillside probably a century ago have joined up, and there's a little path between them. And suddenly you're quite confident that you know exactly where you're going as you see this tree and notice that there are three rather large scratch marks just across the base of it. Hmm. Well done. Thanks. Your uh, little friend there. <laughs> he helped me out pretty well. Uh, I have a good feeling this is it. What are we going to do? Are we just going in there? Are we luring her out? Uh, I don't know how to lure out a creature that can teleport. <laughs> Loud noises, maybe? maybe sort, of this, sort of this walk through the wall last time that wanted to get away from us. Oh, she didn't teleport? She, she walked? Seemed to disappear in a puff of smoke. A lot like what happens when you kill the creatures. You're not quite sure if it was a teleport or whether she just phased through immaterial walls or something, but that's what it looked like to you when she left the first time. I think we only have... the only option we have is to go in. I don't like the idea of going on her home turf, though. But if that's it, guess we're gonna have to, huh? We have everything hey. we need to kill her. Yeah. Hey, Sh hey Shay. You're, uh, can you be able to pick up anything? Are you sensing anything around? Uh, detect just, magic. Yeah, yeah, I'll do detect magic. Okay. Uh, 
Yep, in your 30 foot radius vicinity, nothing. Right. Well, it's up for 10 minutes, so we'll keep that active as I'm walking through. Maybe we can creep up to the entrance. Maybe we might find something. Are we at the entrance? In our... Oh, we are at the entrance. Okay. I thought we were, like, away just looking at the entrance. Well, you got close enough to notice those scratch marks. So you're pretty damn close gotcha. to the tree just outside. Okay. So, yeah, you're, you're very confident that something with long claws lives in here, so... Gotcha. Okay. Uh, how narrow is this passageway into the Hag's Lair? Uh, the immediate entryway, you can walk in it without sighting. Or something. It's uh, basically just a point, an arrow. You, if you're over six and a half foot, you might have to duck down a little bit, but it's not cramped by any means, at least this uh, immediate opening. You can't really see too gotcha. far, and it's kind of like a jumble of fallen rocks rather than a natural formation of uh, cliffside, so it immediately starts getting uh, cornery. Uh, straight into it, so you can't see too far, but the immediate area is quite uh, quite open. Cool. Uh, Wick's going to fly down to my shoulder. I'm going to use his dark vision and try and sneak with the group. I'll try to sneak, too. Who's up front? Hmm. Who wants to be up? I think Corwin probably is. I'll be right behind Corwin. So, Cole, Miss... Poppy in the back. Nate, Shay, then Atlas. Yep. Okay. Alright. So, and... Oh, uh, uh, real quick, sorry. Um, how long does Potion of Fortify Constitution... It's an hour. Gotcha. Mm. All, the, okay. all the attribute boosts or negatives um, last an hour or until they make their uh, DC save. Gotcha. Uh, and the I other suggest things, I'm gonna I'm gonna chug it. Yeah, resistances and combat effects like haste are uh, level per round. So six gotcha. round level six resistance lasts for six rounds. And that plus constitution. That's plus two or uh, level two. Uh, it's basically half per level. So if I level two constitution bonus. It gives you a plus one to your constitution. Level ten will give you plus five, and that's to your oh, wow. your stat, not your modifier. Right. Okay. Uh, so I missed that. How long does the fortify health last? Fortify health lasts for at most an hour, or until you get hurt. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna roll mine as well. Okay. What level was it that you gave me? Two. I forgot. Okay. Gotcha. So I have a one. Okay. So everyone's uh, done drinking and continues on. Mm. Calling up the front. Uh, uh, perception. Scout the way. Perception check yeah. on you, Corwin. And are you guys using any light sources? Uh, I can give Corwin not. a light cantrip if he really wants it, but I don't think we should. Uh, I think he's trying no. to be stealthy. Okay, so, uh, yeah, you can immediately tell that this is uh, just a collection of fallen rocks as there's jagged edges now, and sections of it seem to squish down into a smaller section. Uh, Colin passes through fine, but the rest of you have to feel your way and squeeze through and duck around as you pass through, and it's probably about 20, 25 feet before it starts to open up again proper, and you guys enter... Um, Nate would Death. probably see it maybe about uh, 70 foot at its widest point this small section it's still quite narrow to the ground but uh, probably a 70 foot sphere of open space um, that the oh. <laughs> careful now so, and currently I don't think you guys see anything. Could I do a perception? If you want. I would like to. Yeah, I'll do the same thing. Okay. Perception. Perception. No, not that. I got that blind sight for 15 feet in case anything's right on top of us. Oh. 
All right. So Atlas will uh, roll with disadvantage because there's still no lights. Oh no, he's got sixty feet. Yep. Both. Yep. Shape. Yep. All right. So I'll tell you what. That's what you see. Not moving. Hushed up against one of the corn. You're not quite even sure if it's seen you yet, but you guys managed to pick out a now familiar sort of uh, sort of looking creature. Is it like sleeping? Is it shuffling around, looking at something? It's completely immobile, not moving. You're not qu even sure if these things do sleep, uh, but you can't see its eyes. So okay. maybe it's I'm just going to. I'm going to use Awakened Mind and talk to Nate. Okay. Nathaniel, do you see another exit to this room? Can I be able to respond without saying anything? You can shake your head or whatever. Uh, I'm trying not to yeah, Awakened Mind is a one-way deal. Got it. Uh, do I see any other entrances or exits aside from the one we're at? Okay, I'll shake my head now. At least nothing so, big enough for a normal creature to fit through. Like I said, there are some cracks where just beasts of rock fall through, but unless you are about half the size of Corwin, it'll be a squeeze. Yeah, okay, so I'll, this is I'll, point out, I'll point out the cracks, but otherwise shake my head now. So it's a chamber. There's no other anything mm -hmm. else. It seems to just yeah. be an open chamber with one way in, one way out. Thank God for blindsight, because otherwise you wouldn't have even been able to see me shake my head. Yep. Well, I mean, I was going to use press the digitation to try and draw it somewhere else, but there's really no point if we're not going further in. I got a minor illusion. Uh, oh, it's only 30 feet. Never mind. Uh, I'm going to AFK. For a little bit, guys. Don't forget you have an 11 uh, available to you. Be right back. Cool. So, what do you guys want to do? I could try shooting it with Eldritch. All right. I think I'd have it. I think I'd have advantage on that. But if it lives. Yep, that's pretty much the I'm... breach and clear way of starting this thing. You are going to make a lot of noise and make yourselves known. Probably not the best idea. Uh, you got any ideas, Meta? I don't see shit. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's right! Damn it! Uh, Atlas. Atlas has no ideas other than attack, attack, attack. Well, simple plan, right. but, you know, I like it. So there, there's like roots and stuff, or is this all? It's all my sheer rock. Basically, um, it basically looks like yeah, uh, a landslide occurred you know a while ago, and a lot of the vegetation has regrown it, but it's pretty much just random piles of rocks piled around. Um, so mm -hmm. if our, you start, our backs are still to the entrance. To the entrance, yeah, the entrance is where you guys okay. are. Um, but yeah, if okay. you started letting off fireballs here and there, there's a, you might worry about the chance of cave-ins, but so long as you don't excessively damage the walls, you should be fine. But yeah, it's, it's yeah. definitely a pr more precarious situation than you'd feel comfortable with going this far into the mountainside. So? I think I can... <sighs> Let me see. Let's just charge it and kill it. Yeah, I'm gonna start no. giving it some more perception rolls if you guys. Yeah, don't. I'm not. We're not charging it. I'll shoot it with two bolts of Eldritch Blast, and it doesn't see me. You don't know if it sees you or not, but it hasn't well, reacted. I was. I was just wondering if I was rolling this attack at advantage or not. Tell you what, give me two rolls just as per normal, and we'll see what okay. happens. Are you warning me that you're going to do this? Yep. I'm holding out my finger, so I can shoot. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, Corwin, anything from you? I, I can't see it. So I can still shoot at a disadvantage. Uh, Corwin's not wasting ammo on not seeing That's things. That's fine. Okay. 
He's not. He didn't shoot into the darkness. Okay. You pound the crap out of it to that point. Yeah. And yeah, it suddenly realized that you know trying to be stealthy wasn't its best bet. However. Oh, I was waiting. This is why we weren't we weren't going to just run ahead. Oh, and there's Titty. Yep, yeah, and you watch as now the shadows that uh, you just didn't notice or just assumed were just rock formation now just seem to move out from the darkness and phew, they start to rush you. Everyone, please roll initiative. And where the hell is Taka? He is away. Well, we'll roll for initiative, he see how we go on the table, and then we'll just give him a wait. Because I'd hate to sure. kill him while he's AFK. Ooh, a natural 20 on yeah. one of Excellent. Nice. So hopefully he's going to be acting first. Yep. And it's the one you almost killed. Not that great, but... <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so how do you see this fight going? We're going to get swarmed. It's, though it's kind of typical. Although I'm not too sure what the hag's going to do. I'm thinking of casting darkness would probably be a okay idea. I suppose it wouldn't affect Shay too much. Wouldn't affect Corwin, he's already at disadvantage. Well, or he can whip out that uh Yeah, true. That that, that rave lantern of his. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Meta, what do you think? Do you mind if I cast the darkness, or would you want to put your uh, your lantern down? You act before I do, anyway, so All right. it's whatever you... So, let's hit the beats. Let's go with gears. Time number one. Alright, and you watch as that creature just... Uh, yeah, rushes the fuck up. And goes after the person who attacked it first. Straight up to Nate. First attack as a 17. Um, yeah. That. And second as an 11. So first attack strikes. You take 13 points of slashing damage. I need you to make a constitution saving throw. Neat. Yep, that's about right. And he is paralyzed. Corwin. Ahoy. Uh, the dog just farted. Congrats. Good luck with that. Congrats on that. Alright. Uh, my... Shit, here. Hmm. Yep. Yep. My turn uh, order was covering her up. I thought it was just a <laughs> oh, standard fight. Not that bad. Oh, crap! Yeah. Quickly now. I need light. I don't. I can't waste light. Uh, just gonna yeah. move up here and dodge action. I don't. Okay. That's all I can do. So that basically just evens it out to a normal roll against you. Yeah. I... All right. Which means this one. That's a fifteen nope. and a ten. Alright. Nope. Atlas. I'm going to enact my strategy and scream at the hag. Okay, so you're going to use your action to scream what? Just scream? Yeah. Alrighty. Give me a constitution check. That's 14. Okay, so why is it 17? I, I did saving throw instead. No. Okay. So, 14. She covers her ears and Norma seems to step back as you just scream at her from a long distance. Um, <laughs> anything else for you? I fucking knew it! Screaming hurts her! 
Really? Wow. Well done. Very nice. You've still got movement and bonus. Crap, I wish I was not fucking... Paralyzed? Uh, paralyzed. I was gonna just minor illusion a screaming child right in her. Okay, that's it for you, Atlas, then. Uh, I'm going to retreat further down the path. Alright. Gonna... If it ain't broke, don't fix it. Shay, you're up. Alright. Good idea. I want to get a little suicidal here, guys. Um, <laughs> hello? Uh, gonna run up. I am going to... Take an attack of opportunity uh, from the ghoul that you just ran past. Yes. That's a 20 to hit. Uh, I'm going to shield that. Alright. Because these things can paralyze with a touch, so it's probably a good idea. Exactly. Yep. Yep. Okay, so your reaction on shield. Okay, I am going to uh, attack. No, fuck it. Uh, for my uh, spell cast, I'm going to cast Thaumaturgy. Mm -hmm. And now I'm going to yell at it with my voice three times as loud. Nice. Okay. Yeah. I need Actually, to... let me do this. Uh, I'm gonna quicken that to make it my <laughs> bonus, and for my action, I'm gonna attempt to grapple her hands away from her ears before I do it to see if I can help me out. Okay, to yell at her is your action. Um, so you can quicken that for your bonus and use your action to yell, but it'll take your action to, because you basically have to go. <gasps> And put your effort into it, and that takes up a lot of time. So it's uh, going okay. to be your action to try and damage her in that way. Okay, yeah. I'm using it as an attack, that's fair. Okay, so, yep. So you quicken it to bonus action that instead. Use your action to scream at her. Okay? Yep. Give me a constitution check. We'll see how good your voice is. Yeah. Is this, uh, is this an attack? Does this count as an attack roll? It counts as a damage roll, being honest. Oh. Because I'd like to use Favored by the Gods if I can. It's an attack or a saving throw. Uh, it's neither one of them, technically. It's just uh, basically damage dice. Okay, so you scream, and uh, Eleven's not that great, but Thaumaturgy busts it up and makes up for the difference as you scream in her face, essentially. Get right up close, and you scream. And she, these big, long, clawed hands just grasp her grasp her ears and absolutely wordlessly from her she screams back at you and all you can basically through the use of blindsight just see her open mouth and screaming but not a sound utters from her own lips and she is going to legendary action to tongue you to death sure. Yum. I'm probably going to die. okay so with a roll of 14 for a tongue attack yes uh, is she making another attack on me no it's just the tongue attack Okay. okay, so Nate, I need you to make a constitution saving throw. Cool. Yep. There we go. That's the rolls you want. And at the end of your <sighs> turn, you shrug it off, but it still takes your turn to do so. Uh, hashtag Terrific. time. Yep, she's going to try and get back at you, Shay, for that. Uh... Okay, so... Through the issue of your blind sight, you watch as twisted spectres of almost children or people. You can almost see faces uh, in the in the smoke purple haze that ushers up for her. And she is going to heal a little bit from it. And then she's going to try to pummel the crap out of you with her claws. Sure. So... Uh, 13 for the first, 19 for the second. And uh, you are s still up with the shield, because it hasn't come back around to your turn yet, right? Oh god, I'm lucky. <laughs> I thought it was, that was it. Back to this one, who's going to go after Corwin. He's still doing the dodge, so they're straight rolls. That's a 12 and an 8. No problem on that front. This one... Fuck it, I, I like killing your familiars. We'll go after Wick. That's a seven. It's flying. <laughs> uh, it's 
There's not enough room in this thing. 21 is a hit, though. Yeah. And He's got 9 hit points. Maybe he'll live. 13 oh points of slashing damage. <laughs> okay. And a constitution saving throw. And then this one... He's going to continue on you, Nate. Yep. That's a 24 to hit. You know it. That's 8 slashing damage. Another constitution save, please. Okay. Can I roll to assist? Yep, you know it. Can I assist him on that? Uh, unless you have a way to do that by the rules. Nope. Can I do lucky, please? Do you have one left? I have one left. Alright, I'll let you do it for this. But this is just once. Thanks. Um, yep. Cause oh, okay. Can you use... Yeah, you can use lucky for saving throws, can't you? Yeah. Yeah. So, you got the one left. Give it a roll. Yep. That'll do it. Okay, because I would like to actually do something. Alright, but it's going to use its second attack. Mm -hmm. That's an 18 to hit. <laughs> yep. That's another 14 points of uh, piercing damage. And... Yep. That's a bite. Okay. Corwin. Uh, I think yep. we need to focus fire at these things down before we focus on the hag. Alright, uh, bonus action, disengage. And we'll come up here and take a rapier attack. Actually, fuck it. Might as well make it. Yeah, that's a rapier attack. Uh, so it's gonna be disadvantage. Uh, yep, yeah, if you're still in the dark. Yeah. I could use some fucking light in here. And no, lucky. Nope. Not for oh. a 10. Actually, no, that first one would have hit. Because it wouldn't be disadvantage again. This has been the 16. 6 1, 16. Alright. And 6 points of damage. Guess how much health it had? 7. 6. <laughs> you Yay! guys are hitting it on the nail for a change. That's <laughs> nice. Overkill. Thank you, <laughs> sir. Anything else for you, Corwin? Uh, yeah, I'm gonna keep moving. Uh, head towards Atlas. He'll cast Light Cantrip on your on your rapier. I'd rather you fucking just light this room up. Some fireballs. Alright, that's me. I don't have any fireballs! <laughs> well, you're useless to me then. Okay, so Corwin got out of range. So, Shay's the next target. I'm Natural sure. one, and then an eleven. <laughs> Atlas, you're up. Oh, Shay is lucky. <laughs> Tell me Atlas about it. Alice is gonna, Alice is gonna run up to a uh, Corwin and cast the light cantrip on his rapier so he can. Okay. Yeah. Da -da 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 -da. So, uh, <laughs> yeah, throw, it. throw down a radius for yourself. Uh, forty. I, I think it should be less than that, though, right? One, it's two, twenty feet radius. Seven, eight. Twenty foot. Yeah, that's right. So, uh, 20 foot radius. That's perfectly fine. Okay, so dim light out onto that edge, so you just see the back end yep. of this creature trying to hump Shay. Anything else for you, Atlas? <laughs> I'm gonna run back down the uh, tunnel. You fucking... Shay, you're up. <laughs> Further away? <laughs> Jesus, man. Basically, yeah, I might Survival! Institute, I might institute a rule that you can't run off the map. You can run towards the edge of the map, but you pretty much stay in there. Otherwise, I have to take, keep track of shit I don't like keeping track of. So, you're basically where you are at the entrance. Aww. Cause, it's yeah, not it, it's too safe to run so far. Yeah, there it's might be more out there. Too hard. Yeah, either that or I'm going to start instituting creatures that come up behind you if you run away too far. And you have solo encounters. Um, so, yeah, try and stay right, on the no, map if you can. It's just going to help me keep track of things a bit better. I'll just go this way then. Alright, so Shay, you're up. Uh, fuck, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to yell at her again. I'm going to yell at her again. Okay, uh, give me a constitution check. The higher you roll, the more damage you do. That's Ooh. the stuff. Thaumaturgy is still active at one minute long. Yep. Yep, yep. Bam. A 22 roll on that with Thaumaturgy fucking hurts. Uh, that's your action. <laughs> anything else for you? <laughs> yeah, I'm out of sorcery points. I can't do anything else, so that's my turn. Okay. So, at the end of your turn, she is going to use a legendary action to command undead, and the one behind you takes a swipe. That's a 23 to hit. That'll hit. 10, no, sorry, wrong button. 
11 points of slashing damage. I need a constitution saving throw from you two. And that's a fail. Shade uh, is paralyzed. I'm going to add a 6 to that. <laughs> <laughs> and just managed to save with your stupid fucking abilities. <laughs> <laughs> You're up. Uh, I love it. Okay. And just checking my math here. Okay. It's gonna come down. Okay, so bonus action. Ooh, uh, sorry, I need to yes. concentration check for thaumaturge. Oh. Alright, we're fine. Oh. <laughs> Glad you're on the ball. Mm. Nate. So, yeah, these guys are considered undead, right? Not humanoid. They are undead. Gotcha. Just making sure, because otherwise I. Gotcha. Okay, uh, other than that, <clears throat> um, for my bonus action, I'm taking off my hat and throwing it right onto the hag. So the hat latches onto her head. And you see the eyes from the brim of the hat just start opening up and glowing and looking at it. Then for my action, click my finger. I'm going to minor illusion right up against her ear, the sound of a screaming five-year-old girl as loud as I possibly can, and I'm just going to let that sustain for the entire minute, right? Okay. So you let loose, and Shay, your ears would be hurting by this stage, I suppose, as uh, the sound of a little girl screaming just erupts right in front of your face, and the hag just seems to shake it off without any effect. Fuck's sake, of course. Okay, so it's voice only. Great. Has to be a proper well, voice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, that's me. All right, hag time. <laughs> that's a twenty to hit versus Shay. Yep, I don't hit. So you take seventeen points of slashing damage from that, and then she's going to tongue you for a twenty-four to hit. Yep, I'm out of shield, so I got 16. So that's 6 points of bludgeoning and 5 points of poison, and I need you to... I need you to make a constitution saving throw. <laughs> uh, um... Shit. I'm gonna chance it. I'm gonna use my 11 and add my plus 6 constitution to make this a 17 saving throw. Okay, and you succeed. Okay. And at the end of her turn, uh, she's going to command undead for the one atop of you to make another attack. Oh, wait. Hold on. I took uh, 17 points of damage, so that's one um, concentration check. I do have Warcaster, though, so that's it. Yep. So that's and then I. And then I took a bludgeoning, so... Yep, you and took poison. Uh, 11 total. 6 bludgeoning, 5 poison, so that's another... Yep, you just managed to keep it up. Okay. So, uh, yeah, a legendary action, command undead. The one beside you rolls a 14 to hit, so that's nothing. Then we go down to this one, who... Yeah, you're too close to his mum, so he's going to rush <laughs> up to you and take... I'm sorry, him. man, I tried distracting him. That's a 9 and uh, a 13. Uh, Never mind. <laughs> How am I doing this? this I one... don't know. I would love it if I could do that. <laughs> He's going to step up to Corwin and uh, 13 and a 10 for fuck's sake. Uh, that one is dead. Corwin, you're up. Yar. Uh, shit. <laughs> Can't get close enough. We should have hired a priest. Or cleric, rather. I'm going to have to rapier attack the one next to me. Ooh, that's a hit. And then, uh, bonus action dash. Uh, yep, and I'll do it over here. That's it. Romeo, this fella's turn. Yep. 
we're going after Shay. The intent is to kill you. That's an 18 yeah. to hit. Yes. Oh no, 16. And it's... Damn it. Alright, that's 8 points of piercing damage and another constitution saving throw, please. Okay, you shrug off the effect. Um, uh, concentration check with advantage. Sorry, this is the 12. Uh. Yep, 12 works anyway. Okay, so tongue attack from this creature is an 8. Okay. Atlas, <laughs> you're up. Fireball! Heal me. <laughs> oh, you're out of spells. Never mind. I have He's one got the spell touch. slot left. You got the touch! Goman Atlas saved the day before Shay gets his ass handed to him. He's, he can't. He's like a mile away. I'm gonna fire both the one that was injured previously by uh, Corwin. Uh, you mean the one over here? <laughs> yeah. Yep. Okay, with two damage to spare, you kill it. <laughs> nice job. Yeah, the place lights up with a flash as a firebolt that looks a bit chunkier than his usual firebolt just seems to. Pew, Straight through, almost taking Nate's uh, ear off as he just lets Nate. loose right in f right beside him, and then poof, that little fella just seems to explode. You're not quite sure whether Watch he cast shit. firebolt or fireball, given the size of that explosion, but uh, he definitely did the job. Anything nice. else for you, Atlas? Uh, I moved. I attacked. That'll be it for me. Okay, um, using her last lead reaction for the turn, commands one of her fellow uh, friendly undead to attack Shay again. That's a 17 to hit. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Use shield, man! I'm out. I'm all out of everything. You take 12 points of slashing damage. I need another constitution save. Guess how much health I had. 12? 11. Yep. Oh. Shay is a dion. And thankfully, it's Shay's turn, so death saving throw, please. Yeah. Do you want me to heal you? I got one more potion. Ooh. That's a success. That was so close. Damn it. Nate, you're up. Fuck. Nah. Uh, I kind of want to heal you. But, uh. I want to damage this bitch. Uh, Fuck. I. Yeah, damage her. Really? Yeah. I, I'm thinking, yeah. Because My rolls are shit. <laughs> uh, after Nate's turn, the hag and two skulkers get a ground. True. Oh, yeah. Oh, sorry. Uh, one yeah, skulker. One of them's dead. Uh, yeah. So the hash, yeah, the hag and one of the fellas near you get a turn. The hash slinging slasher. <laughs> yeah. Maybe he'll. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I'm I'm popping the cork on my 44 potion, jamming it right into you. Okay, give it a roll. Uh, Ow, I hope. So 44, 44 plus 4, plus. Uh, Nate. And we pick Shay off the floor. That's not bad. Yep. Okay, so Shay's back up. Live, you bastard! Okay, that's okay. your action. Uh, you still have yeah. bonus and a bit of movement. Can I bonus action screen? No, it's an action to screen. Okay. I had to balance well, it somehow. Uh, gotcha. So bonus action, get rid of the screaming child noise, I guess. Yeah, okay. So no more screaming child noise. Yes. All right. So we back down to the lady. We should have brought a child. Yeah, you know what? Fuck it. Clora, <laughs> uh, well, actually, I've got to check if she gets them back. Is Hexblade's yep. curse like Hex? Does that give disadvantage on anything? Uh, no. It's just... It just benefits. So, once yeah. more, you see this burst of specters, essentially, go up and wrap around her, and she seems a little bit more vim and vigorous, and then she's going to pummel the crap out of Shay again. So, Chloratech, <laughs> for a 17 to hit. I'm not a threat anymore. My thaumaturgy's gone. <laughs> yeah, that is. That's 12 points of slashing. I have one health left. And the second Gosh. attack is a nine. All right. <laughs> oh. So back to the one just above her who's going to attack Shay. That's a ten and a fifteen. That's <laughs> this. And then she's going to use one of her regained legendary action to command it to attack again for a twenty. 
Okay, I have nothing left. Uh, I, I, I think we should just go ahead and try to kill these undead first. I think so too. Okay, yeah. that's where the reaction economy. Yep. Uh, do I know how many spell slots Mongrel has left? I have both of mine. Okay. So you can blippity blop or something, maybe. Blippity blop. Yeah. All right. Uh, what does that I'm mean? Like I, I would. I, I. I need to know what that I'm, means. I'm. I'm taking a rapier attack. On which one? Left, right. The right one. Okay, the one directly above Shay. Give it a roll. Yeah. Actually, I'm gonna make a Doom and blade. Nice. That's definite hit. Nice. Twenty and points you do off. get yeah. sneak attack. Yep. Sneakies. Oh. <laughs> Lots of ones. Okay. Alright, oh, yeah. and bonus action. I am blippity blopping 35 feet that way. Okay, so you attacked one, so mobile works on the one you attacked. You're still within range of the second Disengage. That's my bonus action. Right. I don't know. Yep, that'll work. Okay, anything else I'll for you? I'll dimension. Oh. All right. So, this one isn't going to move because it's got Nate to chew on. Yay. That's oh a God. seven to hit on the first, and then a natural oh. one on the second. Okay. Atlas. Oh my God. Nice. Lucky. I'm going to back up a bit. Good. Please do. I'm dimension enduring this guy. All right. I'll back up further. <laughs> <All right. laughs> the one time fucking Atlas doesn't try to run away. Yeah. The one time. <laughs> On right. the injured one. On the injured one, 18. Guess how much health it had this time? 19. 18. You're getting a oh dead on. Oh my god! That's. <laughs> oh my god! The third or fourth time this game that you've got it dead on. Alright, anything That's else for you, Atlas? Precision. <laughs> precision. Uh, I'm good. Alright, Shay, death saving throw, please. That's a success. So you back up to one success. Nate. Uh, just a second, my uh, thing disappeared there. But uh, yeah, you know what I'm gonna do. Dimension door, I'm grabbing. Right. Okay, if I could move, please roll 20. Okay, so roll 20 just decided to freeze on me. Alright, so where do you want to go? Up near Corwin? I'll move you. Uh, oh, okay, It's it caught up with me. So. Alright. Uh, yeah, I'm I'm moving up, 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 up. Okay, so mm, Shay, move beside him. Shay. And that's your action. Uh, anything yep. else for you? Uh, I, could, I have like no bonus actions. That'll be me. Okay. Unless you'd love to give me an Eldritch Blast. Uh, <laughs> bonus. You wish. Uh, okay. I so, do. Um... I'd like to cast Wish. That's going to annoy her somewhat, as you basically okay. snatch her prize right out from under her. Yeah, I can imagine. So, yeah, she's pretty quick on her feet for an old fella. Good, I guess fucker. Nate, uh, that's a 19 to hit. That'll hit. Eight points of slashing damage. Second okay. attack with the tongue. Is a nine to hit, so nope. that's a miss. Okay, and within range for these fellas, so he's gonna rush up to Corwin, attack mm -hmm. with one, eighteen to hit. Uh, shit, I have to shield it. Okay. Right, what well, does eighteen hit? I can't remember. No, I would block eighteen with block eighteen. Right? No, if it gets eighteen, it hits your AC, so it's a hit. Oh, it's, it's gotta meet, the other way around. meet or exceed your AC to hit. So an 18 would hit okay. you. Alright, uh, yeah, I'll shield then. Alright, uh, second one's a 2, uh, sorry, 10. So she's going to use a legendary action to get it to attack for a third time, just in case. Is a natural 20? <laughs> I swear to God. Um, Not my reaction. Okay, so 17 points of slashing damage because it rolled terribly. And I need a constitution saving throw from you, Court. 
Yep, and we're out of portents, so yeah. Okay, Lucky. and. Lucky! Lucky! Oh, survives thanks <laughs> to being a halfling. And it's back around to you. You said it was 17 points of 17 damage? 17 points of slashing damage, yeah. So that puts me down to there. Okay, hooray. Uh. Alright, normal booming blade on the one below me. Sure, getting your own back. A 14 is a miss, though. Mm. Just shy. Mm. Right. And. That's all that shit. Yeah, that's all I can do. Let's move over here. Alright. So as the creature rushes up to call and he deflects the first strike um, with an arcane shield, just definitely deflects the the second one as well, and then just sees a movement from the hag over to his uh, to his right, and then suddenly, whoop, oh shit! The the ghoul just finds a nice weak point in his armor and just digs in with the claws, um, kind of bringing reality back to the uh, nimble halfling, but it's just not quite enough and. It dodges away from his uh, retaliatory strike, and then he repositions himself to get attacked by everything. Uh, Corwin. Um, Atlas. Hi. Atlas. What is it? Yeah. Atlas. <laughs> Do something. I'm going to cry. <laughs> okay, roll for cry. <laughs> Alright, bear in mind, if Shay gets a natural one on his next death saving three, uh, he'll be pretty yeah. fucking close to death. Yeah, and it's uh, happened before. Yep. That's one of the reasons we lost the player before. I'm going to move over here. Taking the long way, like going up through here. Shoving through past Nate, yep. Okay, so it's oh, double oh, double yeah, movement to get I, through I, people, but you can probably make it. Yeah, I'm stuck under <laughs> Nate. There you go. And I'm going to cure wounds on a uh, Shay. Okay, give it a roll. This okay. is my last spell. Make good use of it. Shay is back For up. A seven. Okay, with seven hit points. Uh, you do have a point of exhaustion, though, because this is the second time you've come back up. Cool. Anything else for you, Atlas? <sighs> what, what stat would I roll to cry? <laughs> I think you can just do <laughs> that regardless. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What's your healing touch? require is that an action or bonus or what? Hold I think on, it's let an me action. Check. Yeah, it's an action and it's mm -hmm. and it's only per to, to, and it's equal to my level, so yeah. I wouldn't heal anymore. No. Yeah, but Shay, you're up. What the fuck am I supposed to do? Um right. I can't die. Uh, I really don't want you to. Seems to really like you. you make a yeah. great tank right now. <laughs> yeah. Um, <laughs> fucking dodge away, man. Yeah, I could disengage and and leave if you guys would prefer that. Whatever you want to do. Um, I don't know. I think I'm gonna think I'm gonna go right for the zombie and not fuck with her. That's fine. Um, yeah, we should. We should uh, I uh, I have spare the dying, so I can a uh, uh, keep you from dying, assuming you're not attacked while you're dead. All right. They, uh, uh, all right. Here's what I'm gonna so, do. Uh, I don't know why I'm thinking about this engage. Um, but a uh, okay. We'll we, should, we should all go. Ahead. We should all attack the zombie. Um, I'm gonna booming blade the the, the witch woman. Okay. No, that's worthless. <laughs> Slender damage might do something. Yeah. You really want to risk it? No. He's immobile, so he has disengaged for free with it. That's what I'm. That's what I was doing. Yeah. Yeah. So even if, even if it doesn't yeah. do damage, you get that free disengage. So. Exactly. Yep. So, okay. But you, um, so twenty-four is a hit, uh, by far. And, uh, yeah, you smack her, and then she just seems to shrug it off. But you do get the disengage. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna move away. 
Bye. Yeah, because if I'm alive, I can still Eldritch Blast and pr contribute, so I can't go down. Yeah. Alright, I'm done. Okay, Nate. Okay. Alright, I'm going to bonus action. Where are you? Bonus action, staggering smite on top of my attack, and then I'm going to attack the uh, zombie. Okay, the one below you? Sure, give yeah. it a whack. That's a hit. Second one's a miss, so nice 34 stuff. total. And then it needs to make a wisdom. What am I doing? And a wisdom save. Okay. Yes. For a nine. Lovely. So it has disadvantage on attacks, uh, ability checks, and yeah, and cannot use reactions at all until its yep. neck until okay. the end. Okay, so no attacks of opportunity for him. Yes. All right. Hmm. However, at the end of your turn, legendary action to prompt that fellow to making another attack, uh, retaliate against you. Okay. Twenty-two to hit. Sorry, what was that? That's a twenty-two to hit. Yep. Uh. Actually, what am I doing? What are you doing? <laughs> no, I'm sorry. It was actually That'd an actual twenty. An actual twenty. Uh, twenty-one. Sorry, with disadvantage. So he rolled a twenty-two so, wait, and a twenty-one what? for his attack. Okay. So it's still okay, a hit. So yeah, twenty. Yeah, twenty-one. Hit. So uh, nine points of slashing and a constitu uh, constitution saving throw, please. Mm. You half and half with these so far. Yep. There we go. Yeah. Try and aim for something a little bit more in the middle, rather than going for 22 and 6. Uh, okay, and now her turn. Atlas. You know, I would absolutely love to do that. Not happening. Though. Apparently not. Okay, Atlas, you've been a pain to her so far. Uh, first one to figure out <laughs> the screaming, so she's going after you. That's a 24 to hit. Uh, yeah. Actually. Okay, so you take 15 points of slashing damage from the claws, and then she gives you a nice French kiss for a 25 to hit. Jesus. And she wants me dead. She wants everybody she wants all dead. Of us dead. You've all pissed her off do in I, some form or another. Uh, so do, I scream, do I scream in retaliation? You wish. <laughs> uh, five points of bludgeoning, another 14 points of poison for 19 total, and I need you to make a constitution saving throw. Okay, so you are now paralyzed, blinded. Oh, yeah. I thought I, I thought poisoned. that was poisoned. It is. The poison effect is paralyzed, uh, poison if you fail the DC, which was, you did, uh, blinded as well, and if you failed by five or more, which you did, you're also paralyzed. So you are Poisoned, blinded, and paralyzed. Is there, there a an icon, icon for fuck? <laughs> yeah, just a big F. Um, that and... would be my token. Okay, so <laughs> yeah, so that's 15 points of slashing, 19 points of bludgeoning and poison for a total of 34 points of damage that round. 34? 34 total damage to you, um, as well as completely fucking up your entire uh, body. Uh, back around to this poor creature that is still dealing with uh, being fucked up. So, attacks against Corwin with disadvantage. That's a 13 to hit for the first, and then a 9 for the second. Alright. Corwin. Alright. Let's see, rapier attack against the right. 25 is a definite hit. Okay, now you're fucking it up. It has 10 health. Uh. <laughs> and bonus action. That'll do Yay! it. That's another one that falls down, stops moving, and starts to apparate into smoke. And we'll just line these fellas up down the bottom. Now it's only the woman to deal with. Although you guys are in a pretty fucking sorry state at this point. This is really scrappy. Mm-hmm. And, yep, I'm just gonna stay here. Alright. Atlas, constitution saving through. That's a fail. 
and it's still a fail by five or more, so all the effects are still applied. Shape. Okay, so here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to use my last remaining sorcery point to cast Subtle Spell. I want to cast boom, uh, Thaumaturgy on me, but I don't want her to know that I've done it. <laughs> okay. Um, so that I don't look like a target. Okay. Um, I'm going to make it look like I'm trying to run out to save myself. You bastard! <laughs> Alright, so where do you move to? Your fucking vision silly about this! <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna... I'm just gonna move... Pretending to fumble my way down the hallway like I'm trying to run away. Alright. Is that it for you? That's all I got. Nate, constitution saving throw, please. Hold on. Try a meeting. You're right. That'll do it. Mm. Ah, thank God. It's only the the ghoul that hits you, so it's a lower DC than the one a uh, Atlas has to deal with. But, and now uh, I'm going to die. Yeah. Uh, so it's her turn. Uh huh. And Corwin is the biggest threat, as he is uh, still stabbing people. Hey. So uh, Corwin, first attack is a fourteen. Nope. Second attack is a 20. Uh, do, 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 do. And I will shield again. <laughs> okay. So it swipes at you and you just manage to dodge out of the way for it before this tongue darts out like a viper striking. And in that instance, you just manage to get up your arcane shield and it crackles against the force of it before darting back in her mouth and just dangling down to her waist. This big, sloppy, green, almost a tentacle-like appendage. Um... And it's back around to you, Corwin. Ah! <laughs> okay, so Corwin screams in a face. And takes her down to there. As once again, her big giant claws go over her ears. And wordlessly, she's, she's screaming in the, in the uh, light of your... Actually, your light cantrip would be gone by now, because Atlas is paralysed. And getting his ass kicked. It's a concentration, mm -hmm. is it, or does it last for a minute? No, it's, it just lasts it's a full minute. On. Sweet. All right. So yeah. ignore that. Uh, anything yeah, else for you, Corwin? Uh, hmm. Is there anything I can do with my bonus action? Stab her. <laughs> yeah, uh, I don't have to attack to do that. Oh uh, yeah. Yeah. There's nothing else I can do. Okay. Um. Yep. Atlas, constitution saving throw, please. That's a dexterity. There you go. You manage to survive it, and you get rid of everything. Shay, your turn. Okay, now's the point in time where I die, because I'm going to make myself a tremendous target. As I run around the corner, I twist, turn, and scream at the top of my lungs. Thaumaturgy enhanced. Give us a check. Yeah. Um, however, you are exhausted, so it is with disadvantage. Yeah. Correct. Ooh, that's pretty terrible. Yep. However, Thaumaturgy helps buff it up a little bit, but <laughs> yeah, she's still dangerous. And because I love you, uh, her legendary action is a tongue attack against you. In retaliation. Yep. <laughs> That's a natural 20, for fuck's sake. <laughs> you know it. <laughs> That's my luck right there, my friend. <laughs> so that's nine points of bludgeoning. I'm down. And 33 points of poison. <laughs> Christ, man. Let's just say you get knocked down, okay? Um, Please. I definitely do. Nate. Yeah, lucky we don't do negatives in 5th uh, edition. Well, I mean, even that was... Uh, I have 47 total. I had 7, so that was 2 plus 30. So it was close to killing me out. Mm. Yeah, you just buy the skin of your teeth, more or less. But, uh, yeah, natural yeah. 20. What can you do? Nate, you're up. Shay is looking <sighs> fucked up. This is the third Tell time he's gone down this fight. Just third kill time? him. Oh, okay. I'm... Uh, 
I want to grapple her and pin her arms, but maybe I should just scream. Just uh, scream. Let's yeah, just say, our... <laughs> I'll just she scream. She looks pretty uh, strong for what she is. Yeah, I can imagine. I don't think I'll she's going to beat her strength. I'll just rear right up into her ear. Yes, so it looks like your looks like your <laughs> neck is throwing up. All right, I'll count that as a scream, although it, it wasn't <laughs> really. Uh, give me a constitution check. Check, gotcha. Yep. Yep. Fucking figures. Bam! Down to that. Ow! Anything else you want to do? Bonus and movement. Uh, uh, punch her in the tit. For a bonus. <laughs> I tell you what, if you want to make it feel better, give me a strength check. Sure. And if you can beat her AC, you punch her in the tit. Doesn't do anything, but it might make you feel better. <laughs> I have a minus <laughs> one to strength. It's still doable. No. Yeah. Yeah, I didn't think so. So, yeah, you, you, you reach out to give her a punch and just basically uh, gingerly caress her across the saggy nipple. Um, Lovely. And it's her <laughs> turn. And We're good. Yeah, she has got an abundance of targets to pick from. But, uh, Shay's down. You barely screamed at all. Corwin's got the most health, so she's going to go for Corwin. He's the threat. That's a 20 to hit for the first claw attack. And last shield. <laughs> Alright, so she's going to divert off. She's not going to continue exalting the shield. And her tongue attack against Atlas. 14 Oof. to hit. That just barely hits. That reaction. Oh, right, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yay! It works. It works. There we go. <laughs> so, yep, that bumps uh, you just over. She, she goes to lash out with this big green tongue of hers, and it just shoots out like a python. Um, and you just, with a little... Uh, almost wordless call from Corwin to remind you of what you got. You bring up your left arm and the shield just starts to form around your forearm just in time to deflect the tip of the tongue. Almost catches it in the, pil uh, the petals of the thing and she retracts it back and by the skin of your teeth because uh, she did 20 points of damage with that attack. And uh, yeah, Corwin, you're up. Man of the hour, what can you do? Mijama! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's a good one. 17 uh, is not bad. Nice. Everyone. Anything else for you, Corwin? Nope. <laughs> Bonus action screen. Atlas? Yeah. I'll scream. For a 5. Bonus action. <laughs> uh, a 17 <laughs> hit. So you punch him in the head. <laughs> and okay. Get some aggro points, maybe. So, um, yeah, I basically, apart from Thermaturgy, which triples it, I've basically just been doub doubling your constitution uh, check and applying that as damage. So, guess how much health she has left? Nine. One. Two. Ten. So, five times two? <laughs> Dead on! Oh! Wow. <laughs> Fuck. Damn. Dead on, and then suddenly everything just goes deathly quiet, and you watch as she. dying! follows suit and just starts to apparate into uh, into black smoke and body just kind of evaporating uh, into this putrid smelling thing dissipates. That's potion. Oh my god. Thank you. Can't believe I didn't go down this fight. Oh, I got you close. I can't believe uh, I didn't I can't believe I didn't go down this fight. Do I regain any health from my hexblade curse from that? Um oh, let me throw it up the the uh, Yeah, blade. I have to get the killing. Yeah. The most like selfish fucking spell in this, in this entire is. universe. Hey, it kind of helps though if yeah, it I was know. a physical <laughs> thing. But yeah, yeah. Okay, well, but... I'll just whistle and my hat come um flies back and lands on my head. Yeah, as as the the hag drops down and starts turning in the smoke, your hat just kind of floats up a little bit with it, and then just <laughs> jumps across back over to your head and settles down. <sighs> Good boy. And Shay is Sorry, back that on one his wasn't feet. So uh, you will have level two exhaustion, however, Shay. Oh yeah. Let's go home and sleep this fucker off. You all right, man? Oh, it disappeared. Yep. yep. E everything turns into smoke. Uh, yeah. yeah. We don't we even never, get the satisfaction we that we did this. Oh, well. well, 
get anything from it. I want to fucking look around the room. There's yeah, got like to be something shiny in here. I'll limp my ass around here. Okay, yeah. You want to find something shiny? Does it matter what? I just want to see if. I just want to see if there's something here. Uh, not a pool of no urine. Interest. I'm sure there's a few of those around right now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you can just wring out your trousers. Um, give me a perception check uh, for anyone else who wants to look around as well. Sure. Oh my god, gents. Yep, that's about normal. Okay. Just Elgarm, Elgarm whispering in my ear. It's like, shut up, I'm trying to... So, well off to the bottom, uh, surrounded by piles of fallen rock and something, uh, Corwin, you see what would probably amount to several litres worth of blood dried into the floor in a nice five-foot uh, mm. circular patch. And almost arranged on a sort of altar are uh, five hearts, human size type, kind of piled up along with a couple of other bits and pieces, a couple of random bits of herb, the skull of a rat in one section, the claw of some sort of bird, maybe a maybe a um, pigeon or a chicken as well, and the entrails of some other animal draped across the top. It's just basically a nice pile of gory crap. Well, let's take the hearts and bury them. Yeah, take them back to the village and give them a proper burial I, with their owners. I don't know if I would serve up... Uh, our fellows, uh, the dismembered pieces of their their, f but I like the idea of burying it. Uh, anybody got a sack? Eh, mine's still a little bit torn. <laughs> That's right. Uh... Hmm. Well, we should at least do something with them. We should bury. It. Yeah, let's. Just... If Do you we want. not want to show it to like a town elder or something first as like some proof, evidence or something? Maybe the tavern owner. <laughs> yes, yeah, so no, I'm in the group. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> Everyone loves the barkeep. I'm not gonna piss off Rama by showing him the hearts of his friends. So uh, if you guys wanna, you go ahead. I need to get some fresh air. Well, this if he oh, wants. Crap. To see the evidence, we can say that we have them, and that's, you know, we're going to give him a proper burial, and if he wants to see him, he can. Go for it. Yeah. So. The least we can do is take him back to the village. Okay. So Thanks. they don't... I think everyone would like to do a little bit of closure, knowing that their loved one's hearts aren't being used for some weird thing anymore. All right, so you're gathering them up and then heading back to the village, yeah? Yep. Okay. It that uh, works. will take you a little bit longer, as you'll notice that Shay just seems, like, absolutely exhausted uh, with his repetitive near-death experiences. And uh, with half the oh. normal speed, he's uh, just dragging well behind. So, unless you want I'll to leave throw him... An arm under... yeah. No, I'll throw an arm under, under his and just kind of hoist him up and try to brace him as we're walking together. Okay. Uh, much appreciated, friend. Sure thing, buddy. Arm in arm. Your, vis uh, your visions tell you anything about this shit? Well, uh, they like to keep things fresh. I think this was meant to be entertaining. You know, <laughs> I think fate has it out against us, my friend, not for us. Uh, the fact that we walked in there on our own accord means that we ride the waves of destiny, my friend. Destiny and me have never really seen eye to eye. Destiny's one of the strippers in Sangui. Yeah, <laughs> we never saw eye to eye. <laughs> Atlas, you're young, <laughs> you're inexperienced. Do not date a stripper, I'm just telling you that right now. Alright, so a leisurely pace. Um, you guys are all, you know, battle worn and weary and um, just trouble along. Back to the town. So, you get there probably a little after lunchtime, maybe one one thirty in the afternoon, and you re you come back to find the tavern still boarded up and barred, nobody walking the streets. <sighs> At least the village is still in one piece. We must look like hell. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, yeah 
There's a lot we've of the red tongued, stuff on the we've outside. Been... Um, yeah. Oh, yeah. All right, I'll pound on the door and say we're back. And it takes about two, three seconds before you get a reply, and then you hear uh, Rummer's familiar voice. No. Yeah, hold on, I got it. And the, the scraping of wood against wood, and uh, the creak of uh, nails being removed as he pops open the barricades and lets you back in through the door after opening a crack and just giving you an eyeball to make sure you're who you say you are. I'm pretty sure we got her. It's us. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> and he just looks at you and goes, Groy, you guys look like shit. Uh, you, should see, you should see the other guy, and you should see the other guy, though. <laughs> All right. And he just ushers you guys in immediately straight up to the bar and, and starts, uh, you know, fetching some hard drinks. Meanwhile, the rest of the village just start crowding around the, uh, the the kids, the old people, the, the father of the slain boy all just rush up. And you can tell just by looking at them that they're all wanting to say something to ask questions, but there seems to be just this uh, communal agreement that that no one's going to uh, bad you about anything. But they're all just... Does like, Rama right within arm's reach as he starts piling up uh, drinks of the hard stuff, just putting them on the bar in front of you. I'll uh, take a shot uh, and explain what happened. I'm going to take one of those drinks, and instead of drinking it, I'm going to lift up my shirt, and I'm just going to start pouring the drink on what I'm... Yeah. Uh, what now? So you're about a sixth of the health that you started with. So uh, yeah, you've got quite a good few many uh, cuts and grazes and bruises and stuff. So you can start yeah. patting them down with the the nice alcohol for a disinfectant. Um, <sighs> guys, she had a tongue like. Ugh. I'm not risking anything here. Um, I understand. She's gonna quietly uh, climb up onto the uh, the bar and stand up and kind of tap his flask or just make sure he has it once. People, I would like to raise a glass to Atlas. It was him that came, that came up with the idea that allowed us to kill the creature. To Atlas, a true sure. leader amongst us. Yeah. yeah. Right. And you guys give a little... Uh, cheer, and you watch as the, the villagers just look confused, and, and suddenly one of them just goes, Yeah! Atlas! And, uh, <laughs> yeah! everyone takes that as the cue to go, Woo! Yeah, and start, uh, cheering along with him, and, um, Nate, uh, dexterity saving throw, please. Oh, boy. Alright, as you are just knocked off your stool by this uh, big farmer man who comes rushing forward, and Atlas, you just get immediately embraced in a bear hug by the father of the uh, slain fella, and <laughs> he gives a hell of a squeeze, and then just lets you go, and wordlessly just puts his left hand on your shoulder, gives it a squeeze, a nod, hands the cleaver back to Rummer, and then goes back uh, to his uh, wife and boy. Shay passes out and falls off the back of the test. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I roll to try to grab him? He yeah, how do just I? seems to drop Why do we try to do and uh, Rummer's there and just uh, catches Shay and then just <sighs> drops him to the, uh, to the side. And there's, uh, I think you fellas need a rest whenever you're ready. <laughs> For the life of me, free drinks and food at this tavern. Now, I'll sort out the rest, get these fellas back home. You done good. Done real good. Uh, uh, who has the bag of hearts? He says aloud. Oh, shit. He's <laughs> <laughs> tapping his pockets. <laughs> uh, I'll, I'll uh, pull Rama aside and they, uh, tell him that we managed to... Quietly, quietly tell him that we managed to snatch the hearts back from the, uh, from the hag and... They'd best be buried with their owners. It gives a solemn nod. Ah, uh... uh, Atlas. Stealing the hearts of every woman he meets. <laughs> Even if it's second hand, yeah. Um, <laughs> they just careful, as well. careful now. Some of, those are, uh, some of those are children. Right. 
I meant the uh, hag, but yeah. okay. Uh, yeah, he gives a solemn nod and says, uh, "Well, there ain't much left of the family there, but I'll see to it they're they're done, taken care of, proper." You go Thank get you. yourself some rest. You've earned it. Uh, I am going to go to a bed and collapse into it. Yeah. So yeah, following up Rama, who is now just uh, ripping the uh, boards and stuff off the uh, the doors and the windows to open up the rooms for you guys and. He even turns down the bed and plumps up the pillow for you before uh, gesturing to it and, um, you know, don't need to get a rest. So if you guys want, you can definitely spend the next two days just recuperating properly with a long rest. <sighs> That's Thank you. What we should do. Thank you, please. And this will also wipe out your exhaustion, Shay. Yep, just barely. Yep. <coughs> Excuse me. So, yep. If you guys want, you just basically, and for the vast majority of those two days, you guys are just asleep. Uh, occasionally you wake up to see that there's a small fruit platter and a fresh drink laid out on the bedside table for you. Uh, but for the entire two days, you don't even have to leave your room and spend oh, like shit. 90, 95% of it just sleeping because you guys got this shit kicked out of you and really shouldn't be alive. <laughs> What little bit of consciousness I have, I'm going to take the 10 minutes to get Wick back. Okay, yep, if you've got the goods for it, uh, you can resummon Wick. Yep. And then I pass out again. <laughs> hey, Wick! Yeah, and he just takes a perch at the uh, the bedside um, and just uh, keeps a watch over you. And then, yeah, two days later, on what would be the 28th of First Seed, you wake up and you're all feeling just a lot better than you were, feeling rest and refreshed, suddenly back into the uh, active and energetic people you are, and you hear the sound of uh, voices and footsteps outside. No more fear, no more uh, eerie scratches or grunts or noise. It's just uh, back to the sound of the small medieval ta style town. Ah, <sighs> that's good. Here. Well, might as well get up. I think I rested enough. Ow, ow, ow. It's a little bit stiff in the knees, eh? Uh, a little bit. Uh, she's just going to stretch a little bit first. Where's my hat? There's my hat. I'll walk <laughs> outside. I'll go outside as well. Uh, morning, Atlas. Morning, Nate. <laughs> I gotta say, that was probably my... Start counting on my fingers. Uh, my third worst date I've ever been. Our <laughs> host said hate to see the other two. <laughs> uh, 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 yeah. Uh, where are the other guys? So you, How's, uh... you guys just get a nod as you pass Rama, who is just there cleaning one of the mugs there's a couple of villagers uh, at his bar as you guys walk through and uh, Rama gives you a nod the villagers turn around give you a nod as well and then just uh, don't bother uh, interrupting you as you step outside to the sunlight and take a stretch I'll tip my hat to Rama uh, you know who uh, left that fruit by our bed stand was that you I had some thought you could Thank use it. Thank you. Thank you. It was really good. We'll have to we'll have to repay you for that. No, no. You've done everything you need to do. Your money's no good here. Anytime, stop in. I'll make sure you're done right. <laughs> Thank you, Rama. Appreciate Rama. it. Yeah. No, it's the least we could do. Saved a lot of people. From uh, the family that lost their child in the attack, what is their name? And where can I find them? Uh, yeah, I don't know. You want it? Uh, they're still dealing with a lot of stuff at the moment. Might need to take a couple more days just to settle down. Uh, but you know, if you want them. 
they're the Boulder family. Edge of town. Uh, I'd, I'd say just leave them be. Let them process. Maybe for the moment. Yeah, he, he didn't look too good by the end of things, you know. It's probably going to take him a week or so to, you know, come to terms with things. And They know they know the rest of the, the village is always here when they're ready to come out, but I think it's time just to give them some space. Uh, short room. But, uh... Yeah, enough with that uh, dreary shit. Um, what can I do for you guys? Drinks? Food? Think I'm good on food at the moment. Thanks. Uh, we I'm could a, uh, some fresh air. We could use help with something, actually. Of course. What do you need? There's a. Uh... Hold on. This dog is. One attention. I'll be right back. Alright. Uh, I don't know what he was Rama about gives to a say. note as, uh, yeah, Atlas just rushes outside to pet a dog. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I do the same. Yeah. He's got a thing for dogs. Yeah, you should see some of his girlfriends. <laughs> Damn. Oh, uh, while we're on the subject, do you know of any cats nearby? Cat. You guys looking yeah. for a cat? I'd love a cat. If you wouldn't mind. Well, I'll tell you what. If that's all you're after, I reckon I can get you a cat by the end of the day. Uh, a lot of the farmers keep them, you know, keep the rats down and stuff, and one of them is bound to have a kitten. Yeah, yeah I'd love one, so, if I'll, you spare. I'll ask around, see what's available, and uh, yeah, if you want one, you got one. <laughs> Thank you. So, what's Atlas doing with I that do dog? I don't know. I'd sort that fella, but uh, damn if he isn't handy to have around. <laughs> that's a that's the truth right there. Shay, how you feeling? Uh, I feel better after the the rest. Um, we all uh, we all did well today, or a few days ago. You, you dodge pretty well for a blind man. You uh, <laughs> might want to work on your stamina a little bit there. I'll be honest, I'm pretty sure most of that was luck. Your uh, your premonitions tell you about it? <laughs> uh, no, this was just me. Well, it's good to have someone with some luck around here. <laughs> Shit knows I ain't got it. So, what do you guys think of leaving our location out there secret and instead setting up shop here? Well, I gotta say, I, I do enjoy the locals. I'll give a wink over at Rama. Uh, seems pretty nice here, personally. Kind of idealistic. Next to the ocean somewhat. Kind of mountainous, remote, quiet. Now that a uh, crazy hag isn't tormenting the village, it's quite nice. I was thinking we would take a walk around town, locate some buildings of worth, and see if we can, uh, if there are things. If so, we can set up here. And uh, the other location can be used for uh, anything that must be kept hush hush, especially for us to travel to when needed. I'm back. Welcome back. That sounds good to me. What do you think, Corwin? Uh, don't think it's a bad idea, but uh, traversing between two points usually leads to a lot of means of locating any, you know, path between them. I agree. So, again, not used all the time. We set up here. Uh, this will be our main headquarters. We have a very good rapport with the town. I feel like that would be a a better protection against the majority of threats 
than uh, a hidden location where we would be all alone. Well, the thing is, uh, to, be, to get to here, though, we gotta come from there. Or we're taking a really long walk from the other way and then sort of defeating the purpose of it in the first. I don't think we'd be doing it that often. Well, it's something to think about because it would appear that the work that we wanted to do here anyways was going to require uh, other individuals to be set up over there and they themselves would have been walking back and forth. I trust ourselves to keep things secret than a large group of people. I sort of had the plans of putting a couple, you know, workstations back at the other place that'll require at least someone be there to uh, install it. Not so much to upkeep it, but at least to install. I don't mind keeping it hush hush, but I think we can trust this town. What advantages, advantages do you see on having the workstations over there? Rather than here. Rather than what? Uh, rather than here. It's a half a day's walk. I exactly that. Be a day to go if we need to pick something up, rather than a couple hours. Wait, okay, so you want to build a base on the Chaldean ruins? Yes. Not on, in. In, right. Okay. And we're going to have people that work there. Yeah. Uh, and, I mean, not for now. Right, but at some point. And then they're going to live there as well? Shoot, I was, I was wanting to hire a butler and uh, to live in there at some point. So uh, the only thing I'm asking is why not do it here in town? Have a location here in town? What's it's a, ha it's a half a day's purpose? walk away. But what are we using the ruins for? Why are we walking half a day in the first place? If we set up the ruins... Up to if we see set him up in is a day. So if we say, for instance, go to another continental island like uh, the film over there, like we would then teleport back to the Chaldean ruins and then have to walk to Tihan and then walk back from Tihan to the ruins, adding a day onto what could have otherwise been a couple hours. Uh, okay, I, I see that being rather. Uh, I mean, if we're taking a long travel like that, then the extra time not really mattering that much. Um, but if you want, we can. It's the cost of trying to maneuver things that already could exist in town over there is going to be expensive and take a long time. I feel like that, we're that's fine. Creating something that's I mean, already. We're not a fancy smith or alchemist station and Tham. We'd have to install that, so either way, we're paying for the cost of. You're paying for the vast majority of things anyway. I only took a little bit off for the sake of having the rooms already built. So, yeah, I'll tell you what, I'll give you the sheet of the list of uh, equipment, uh, houses, and stuff, and their associated costs, so you can make an informed decision about what you want to do. On that list is each of the uh, the components, their size, uh, which is just roughly uh, size one is the size of a, a little house. Um, so that luxury bath is a hell of a fucking bath, by the way. Uh, their cost and basically the prerequisite the people you've got to hire to make proper use of them. Uh, and yeah, is there a list of the costs of the people? Um, no, because it's not really complete. Um, but we can tab up what you want. But generally, the most you'll pay for the non-combat stuff is 30 gold a month. Most people are about 6 to 12. So they're not exactly the biggest expense. Um, but, yeah. Basically, you can build all... Of, you can have all of that stuff built in Tham and build up the village. Or you can have it done in the ruins. The only difference is it's slightly, and I mean very slightly, like a few hundred gold here and there, to have it built in the ruins. 
and you just don't have the walk. However, you're basically going to be neutering the prosperity of Tehan by trying to split the uh, workforce between there and your thing. So there's for and against at each point. It's up to you guys to decide, though. I'm I'm suggesting we make our headquarters here in town, build up the town, and use that as a as our official headquarters to the world. Uh, if we ever want business to come our way, they come into town. They don't come to our secret base. Um, I personally like then, the idea of uh, yeah, seeing business booming in T Ham as well. Yeah. Right. Yeah, we might as we can we can build up the town so. Yeah, and you could have the ruin as just your private thing. Like, nobody knows about it except you guys, and you can set your own rooms up in there with your, you know, special stuff and still have the alchemy and the farms and everything in Teham. You just have a bit of walking here and there every so often to travel things. So, yeah, if yeah. you guys are happy with that, it sounds like a good idea. Well, oh, uh, Meadow, how do you feel? Because, uh, yeah. you're, you're cool? Alright, cool. I mean, yeah, Coron will probably, probably have his little tinker shop in the ruins either way, but... Perfect. That's fine. Yeah. Um, nice. That, that works for me. But I was thinking of maybe setting it up so that... Uh, like, I have an idea to help get some word of mouth. Um, and I was going to direct them to Teham. And with the, with the villagers on our side, like this, especially Rummer... Um, you tell we tell any prospective business to inquire within the tavern, um, and then we will. You know, Remmer can send a message to us in some way that lets us know that they're there. So it's a certain like barrier between us and the world, um, using like hiding in plain sight kind of thing. Right. Like I said, though, the only issue though is like someone has to come and install that. <laughs> to what? The like the fancy workshops if we. Wanting to put those in the ruins, like, that we can trust the town to do it for us. Sure. Uh, yeah. Let's just find people we trust. I mean, we have people we trust. These pe these people in town, <laughs> they, uh, they, uh, they like us. Yeah. Uh, we. Uh, I don't. But I don't think. Don't. I don't know. I reckon at least one of them's a decent mason. Sure. Well. Well, it's part of the, what we can do with the town is get to know everyone and see what roles we could assign them to. And if and that way, any development we do, also the, the town prospers. We can set ourselves up as, a, as the leaders of this place eventually. Yeah. All right. Cool. So you've made a decision. Cool. Uh, what do you guys want to do from here? Uh, Shay's going to uh, uh, walk around town. I'd like to see if there's any buildings that are available, um, preferably a two-story. I don't know if that exists around here. If not, he's looking for a building that we can uh, set up a, a, a local headquarters. I'd like to go with Shay, too. I think we'd have to build a headquarters if we wanted something specific. Is a farm not too far outside town? I know that this uh, recently uh, became uh, vacant. Sure. That's a good idea. <laughs> All right, yeah, because the only two-story building in the town is the tavern, and it barely counts because it's maybe one and a half story. All, all be told, um, everything else is rather small, single-story setup. Uh, as you can basically see on the map that I was going to use if you guys walked outside. <laughs> <laughs> okay, cool. Then I like the farm idea if everyone else does. Like, how far away is that farm? You can basically get there and back in half a day. Uh, it's pretty much just half the distance uh, would be from here to the ruin. So it's a little closer, but not dead on the outskirts. It's still a bit of walking. It's kind of hope to be in town. However, that, I mean, that uh, we can help. we can just operate out of the tavern. That it helps cover for our like reason that we keep like coming into town from like the west. Oh, good call. Like we vanished for a while, and then we just like, oh hey, this, these guys came to town from the west. Like oh yeah, because they have a fucking farm on the outskirts. 
Anyway, that uh, list with the prices and everything, that's for building the building as well. So, uh -huh. if you guys just want to set up a study office, a real basic one, it'll be tiny and cost you 200 gold. Or you can do a proper one for 2,500 and set up a small house, small house style uh, office basically and, and take your calls and shit out of there. Or you uh -huh. can just, just on the outskirts of town, you can just keep adding on and building rooms to a two-story, three-story, giant-sized building if you just keep adding to it. So, it's up to you. But it, right. For now, I think operating out of the tavern makes sense, and I like Corwin's idea of the farm. All right. I don't know. What, what, you guys like the Assuming farm? Farm works for me. Well, yeah, what, uh, what a, uh, we're in the planting season, right? It uh, it's currently first seed, which is yes, uh, basically the the month that people sow their crops. Yeah, I'd like to hire a uh, an alchemist to turn to convert the farm into a uh, an herbalist a, uh, den. All right, we can do set up like we were talking before. Uh, if you can convince Arjet to come and help you out, she's technically the only alchemist uh, within several days' march. I'll ask her. Okay. Anything else you guys want to do? I'll let Romer know that we're headed off to the farm and we're going to be taking over its responsibilities. Mm -hmm. We hope to be a, a, a presence in the town. Yeah. Figure we'd like to stick around. It'd be really awkward if that mother was still alive and she comes back. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> yeah. How many hearts were there again? Five, five. five. Maybe she just got sick of the place. I don't know. <laughs> Maybe she was the hag. <laughs> yeah, I'll go with that. All right. So yeah, you state your case, Rama, and he goes, uh, "Well, by Amir, that's great news. I was uh, just plucking up the courage to ask you guys to stay. Uh, and quite frankly, we would have been, well." fucked if you guys weren't around and everyone's taken a bit of a shine to you and we feel safer knowing there's someone uh, a bit capable you know close at hand looking out for us so um I was talking to some of the fellas and uh, yeah we came to the agreement that if you guys wanted to stay we'll set you up with the house and and uh, property and you know make your time here as uh, easy and enjoyable as possible uh, but uh, yeah, if you want to take over that farm, uh, well, I mean, a little touchy subject, I suppose, but no one else is using it at the moment. It's better to see it used than go to waste. So, I'm fine with it. Have, yes, I think uh, if you have a, a location in town that is unavailable, or available, uh, we will take that as well. We hope to set up shop here, and that could be the public face of our new company. Well, Joyce didn't have no one, no kids and such, and her house is pretty vacant. Okay, uh, we'll take it. We All appreciate right. it, Rama. All right, we'll let you use it. Uh, is there anything you need us to do? Uh, some sort of setup you need in there? Desk, chairs? Uh, what, how can we, we get you started? Uh, what was the uh, previous owner's family name? I think we still need to do a little bit of burial out. Joyce? Oh shit, that's a tough one. Uh, we only knew her as Joyce. And uh, did no one else with her. Always lived alone, apart from that, uh, that damn there fox. Uh, hmm. I don't even know if she had family. Huh. That's too oh, bad. that farm. I was thinking of a completely different farm. Oh. <laughs> talking about the farm? Yeah, they were. <laughs> oh. Yeah, I was talking about the one that I had that, that I got the, uh, the fucking scary kid drawing out of. <laughs> mm. I totally was... forgot about the other farm. So there's like two vacant fucking farms. Yeah. So, 
Uh, sounds cool. We got the farm for our home. Um, I have a tiny little building in town that I, I'll probably just set up as a public face um, just to kind of sit there unless we ever need it. Um, I'm happy. Alright. Uh, Atlas. Uh, either state your case to ours yet or give me a persuasion roll. Oof. What is it with you and women, man? <laughs> I, mean, yeah, I think you're just taking this uh, negging idea a little too hard, walking up and say, Hey, you fat slut, I've got a proposition for you. Your voice cracks. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so, um, yeah, with a 12, not that keen on moving outside of town. Fair enough. She's she states the case, and she's uh, definitely willing to help you out. Um, you know, give you some advice, teach you some recipes or whatever if you need it. But uh, she's got a business to look after, and she just can't spare the time heading off to a farm. I guess I'll have to hire someone then. I'm gonna slap Atlas on the back. Perhaps you may enjoy doing it yourself. Think about it. You've accomplished so much before by your own uh, wit and intelligence. Perhaps yeah, your farming a... life would be something you will enjoy. You're a young man. Might be fine to learn a couple more skills while you're still on this planet. Uh, how difficult would it be to learn survival? Well, uh, uh, as as uh, as a way to to manage the crops. There's tools for that, like herbalism or something. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, for the most part, you're just only growing uh, easy to grow low level stuff, um, so it's not going to be too difficult. The main issue is you're going to have to have a set amount of time at the farm. It's not something that'll work in your absence. Like if you guys go for a month, the work is ruined. I will say that you probably have to be there at least once a week to keep it growing proper. Otherwise it just goes wild and the effort's wasted. Alright. So for at least Definitely three... seems like it'd be e easier to hire someone to do it for me. Yeah, you'll have to be home at least four days a month, essentially. That makes sense. Yeah. That's why at one point... Get a farm like... hand. Yeah. Eventually, at one point, like China was just like giving away all this free farmland because it was getting like retaken by the forest because mm. like all the farmers were moving into the city. So it's just like, hey, if you manage this place, you can have it for free. Yep, they did that in a town around here, sold blocks for a dollar. Oh, yeah? Yep. Uh, it was a shitty little town out in bumfuck fucking nowhere and shit fucking ground, but you could buy a, a few acre block for a dollar. Yeah. Yeah. You got a farmhand. Okay. Yeah, I'll, uh, I have something to look into. But, uh, I'd like to see if anyone's willing to take a letter home to me for me. I'm planning on, uh, sending some letters myself. If you'd like, I can, uh, get those over to the post. Okay. All right. No post I'll lay a I we'll can have make to a go run to up to Ymir. Uh, you can yeah. just make a south to... Uh, Urzheim? Urzheim. Urzheim. Yes. Urzheim. You gotcha. can make it south to Urzheim. Uh, each of the named <laughs> cities have post offices. These are pretty decent sized places. I think uh, Atlas had some business in Ymir. And I was uh, planning on going there. I could use, uh, use uh, Atlas's assistance with... Well, I... Uh... The business I had in Ymir is the is a business I can take over of anywhere. Basically, I just want to a uh, send a letter to my folks and see if I can't requisition a uh, some hands from the military to and to serve in my in the guild we're forming. That sounds uh, fun with me. Let's hope to take advantage of your uh, family name there. For uh, 
help in uh, selling some uh, item on the auction halls, perhaps? What item? Uh, yeah, so you remember that uh, sheriff in that uh, little town that we helped uh, destroy? Cleanse of its evil? Well, what? Uh, yeah, well, I, uh, I acquired uh, this item. Damn, where'd you get that? No, oh, that's a uh, that fat little uh, sheriff man was was uh, had it hanging around his neck. Sheriff guy. I don't hmm. recall this at all. <laughs> I do. I'm just I'm not that character anymore, so I have no idea. Was I yeah. even there for this? Uh, I, don't I think so. Actually, it was the first time I got jailed. I, <laughs> like, yes. Yeah, I, I wasn't in. there for that. Uh, yeah. Was not there for that. Well, essentially, uh, we we found a, a fat man buried halfway in the ground. We helped free him. He ran off because he was like half naked. But he was like, "Oh, go hunt down these bad guys who ended up being like Robin Hood type of people that we totally fucking slaughtered." And then yep. we're like, "Oh, we're so bad about that." So we went and then we slaughtered the the other people that told us to slaughter the first people. So it caused sort of a What's the word I'm looking for there? Revolution? Genocide. Yeah, Both, a, yeah. Little, Both a, little, are applicable, a little bit I think, of a revolution. Yeah, but, yeah uh, I don't think you can use my family name to sell something like that. Just to give it a, a little bit of a... A little bit of a legal front, you know? Because if, <laughs> if it just... Uh, if it's just some random halfling comes in there trying to sell it, they'll, you know, they'd probably just... Uh, I think it was stolen or something. No, or as a jail trip. If it came from a, a noble family and maybe a heirloom or something, that's a, it might be a little bit easier to 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 sell. Uh, the idea. Yeah, of selling I'm gonna it. have to give a pass on that. It. I mean, it it came from it came from legal means. It's it's just that no one would believe it. You know? I I've had it in my family for generations. I tell you. <laughs> Rope surgeon. You have me convinced it's been in your family for generations. But no one else would believe it, you know. That's why I just need to help a little bit of help from you with, you know, getting it sold at the auction hall. Uh, I got an idea, guys. <clears throat> uh, Atlas, if you'd like, I got some letters I need to mail myself. I can head over to, uh, head down south. Uh, you can go with Corwin over to Ymir's and go about hawking your stuff. And, um, yeah, we can meet back here. Why don't we all just go to Ymir's chair? If you like. Oh, through the power of the, uh, I'll just like point at my nose, the, the, the peril there. We can, we can, they can catch up pretty quickly if they need to. Yeah, uh, that's true, huh? Yeah. yeah. I just like, personally, uh, I would like to set up something on the farm. I don't know how long it'll take, uh, but then I'd be happy to go, because it'll pretty much take care of itself after that. What do you want to set up? Uh, I want to set up an apiary for my bees to live in. They can pollinate uh, anything that we have going on, and I want to start working on my honey wine, so they, they'll just sit there and take care of themselves for a long period. Oh, God, God, I wish Finn wasn't dead. <laughs> that was all sorts of, like, <laughs> fucking Minecraft feed the beasts fucking ideas that popped in my head all of a sudden. <laughs> Don't worry. You can I'm, make I'll anything find, with fucking apiaries. <laughs> I'll find the uh, I'll find the life stone and bring you back to life. Gee, thanks. Uh, so how long would that take me, Karen? I mean, yeah, you can set up a small hive, no problem, and the bees that you carry around wedged in your bum crack could uh, start things out. <laughs> uh, I, I assume. Uh, what? I assume. <laughs> <it's> a, <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> no, I think you mean squeeze the bees. Squeeze the bees. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I mean you've got the you've got a small hive that you carry. Um you In can set it up. Uh that that's the only place you guys carry anything, um, in my view. Uh it's a so, bag of holding. <laughs> yeah. Can uh, my hat be fashioned as a bag of holding? If you want to kill it, maybe. 
Uh, Not really. So yeah, maybe half a day to set that all up. I mean, it's a uh, a hive is a pretty simple uh, setup for any competent craftsman. And then uh, yeah, you just take it out, plonk it down, transfer the queen over, and that's it. So. And like they said, uh, you can easily catch up just by going to the ruins and bamfing to the pearl. Uh, so it yeah, doesn't matter how long do it takes. So, uh, yeah, I mean, Atlas and Corwin can set off to your mist here. Uh, you other guys can do what you want. Go to the ruin, teleport to the pearl, catch up. Talking to I'm going to head south. Atlas, get the share a horse. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'm just going to have a leisurely jaunt to the south and mail those letters to my sister as well as uh, Atlas to his family, if you'd like. Alright. Uh, just for the sake of having something, feel free to write up a word doc or something uh, with exactly what's in those letters, and I'll uh, just keep it as a reference. Sure. I'll All write right. something up here fairly quickly and send it to you after. Yep, that'll be great. And uh, same for Atlas, sure. what you want to send to your brother. Alright. Um, yeah, anything else um, you guys want to do? When I finish up with the apiary, as I transfer the queen, I'm going to use uh, Awakened Mind, and I'm just going to... Your new throne, your highness. And may, your, <laughs> may your brood be proud and strong. Jesus fucking Christ, what is that big monster talking to us? <laughs> <laughs> I thought we were just pleasantly riding around in its bum crack for the past t uh, few m weeks. <laughs> weeks, years, months, who even knows at this point. Oh. So I'll set them up, uh, and I'll, uh, I'll bamf back to them. The only That's thing we cool. know is every night's a full moon. <laughs> <laughs> I feel so ashamed for laughing at that. I don't. I've left shame at the back door, my friend. Well, uh, I tip my hat to you, gents. Uh, was great living and nearly dying beside you. I got some letters to send. I'll meet you back here in, a, would say, about a day or two. Well, we are going to Yemas Tia, so perhaps join us. Uh, if you'd like, I'll join you. Up to you. I'd prefer to be in as big a group as possible in case we encounter anything along the way. Works for me. Okay. Uh, Ilgarm's been kind of ill-tempered with me lately and uh, kind of messing up my back swings there. So, uh, yeah, maybe I should tag along with you guys. So you're heading to Ymir's tier with the group now? I guess so. Alright, and uh, Shay will catch up essentially just almost a full day later. Just seems to bamf towards the pearl and tears apart your backpack uh, in the process of doing <laughs> The next so. one he just stitched. Uh, Fucking hey, Atlas, yeah, you take the stomp thing. <laughs> <laughs> Good luck with that. Okay. Just All right. pulled it out. Every day, forever. It was Mage Hand. <laughs> yep. I could put it under my hat. Oh, yeah. Uh, that'd suck. Um, <laughs> I mean, you, you can probably clip it to a belt or something, uh, and that way they just appear holding your belt rather than appear inside your backpack and just tear it to pieces as they reform. Yeah. But, uh, let's, uh, yeah. While we're out, let's go find a tailor and uh, get a belt pouch, mm -hmm. man. Yeah. It's just they will reform and they're holding the pearl. You've... It, that's the way it works. Yep. Yeah. Let's do that. Dig it. So, I just realised, and I'm surprised I didn't come up with this before, but that's a great way to traverse terrain. Um, yeah. You ban back to the circle, uh, yeah. told to wait a while, the other guy with the pearl in hand just fucking hocks it across a ravine, and then an hour later you come back, you're touching the pearl across the ravine. Yeah, yeah. just got to be patient. Two hours per person. Yep. Yep. <laughs> but I suppose it works. Um, if you yeah. guys try that, I'm just going to have to find a way to undermine it with a combat encounter or something. <laughs> but yeah. yeah. No, there's, anything there's... at least they can chuck a pearl snatcher between. Like some jail bars. No problem. 
Are you thinking about getting thrown in jail again? No, of course not. You think I like oh. it in jail? All the free food and the, the nice comfy, well, not so much comfy, but secure bed. Word around the grapevine is you've been in there multiple times. That's always been a misunderstanding, though. I don't know. Uh, I say I know you well enough by now, but, uh, <laughs> yeah, you know. Hey, have you ever first, seen me uh, first... anything or kill anyone? Well, of course not. I'm kill anything, something. plenty. <laughs> not kill anyone, not anything. Oh, so now you're saying monsters aren't people? I, I think that's the, that's the definition of not people. Otherwise, they'd be is... people, not monsters. Yes, monsters are not people. Hey, I know some pretty upstanding demons. I mean, they've tried to kill me multiple times, but they're pretty upstanding. They don't sound that upstanding. What makes them so upstanding? Uh, well... <laughs> story for another time, maybe. I'm starting to wonder if maybe I got that shard from a, uh, a joke that went bad, like a, you know, pull my finger type of thing. <laughs> shard? Oh right, the shard. Yeah. The one that you were so worried about for a while there. Right. Yeah, I was a bit preoccupied trying not to get French kissed to death by a hag. But uh, yeah. Who knows? Maybe it's a whole cosmic fuckery thing going on. But uh, yeah. Glad that shard was taken care of. Anyway, I'm done wasting time. Okay. Yeah, let's go. So, you, so are we you guys, any horses or anything? I mean, they're it. very sparse in the way of horses. And while you can uh, persuade someone using your just general friendliness of the town folk, you can get a horse, but you will know that you're making life harder for the person without the horse. While you're I'd rather it. not. Yeah, you know, because. So what do you say, Atlas? I'd say we can buy some horses in Emir's tier and have the town look after them for us. That'd be pretty nice. Yeah. I wonder if a horse can will itself to transport. <laughs> no, I'm going to live li uh, limit that to uh, people. <laughs> um, okay, so uh, yeah. Uh, on foot, you guys traverse, uh, it take you about two days or so to make it back to Ymir's tier. Uh, nearing the evening on the final day, Shay bamps back in, uh, um, and catches up with you guys, content that he's, uh, set up his nice little a apiary at the back of the farm. So, uh, the honey wine production is in full swing, uh, currently, if only he could, uh, make it better. <laughs> well, we'll see. That's well, great. Depends on what they pollinate, let's see. Yeah, they just uh, set it up close to an M and M factory, and suddenly everything they produce is multicolored. <laughs> 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 Which actually happened, mind you. Uh, really? That's yeah. amazing. Yeah, it did. They were wondering why their bees were making fluoro blue and green fucking honey, and they realized it was just run Dude, off from the uh, local candy amazing. factory. I would love blue honey. <laughs> That'd be amazing. All right. So you guys uh, settle down. Comes to the night. You're halfway through. Everyone's finally managed to catch up. Um, Wick is back, um, you're no longer exhausted, you've, you know, set up the town, got everything sorted, uh, you are now landed gentry of a sort, uh, at least in one particular small faction of Dwergheim, um, so yeah, you guys, I suppose, would be pretty, pretty good, uh, feeling pretty good about things, um, unfortunately, you didn't get any coin for the whole ordeal, but, oh well, may maybe call we and fix that up. We that, helped uh, some folks out, and we got some favors. Sometimes that's more valuable. We got like three bases now. <laughs> I feel like we got our money's worth. Yeah, yeah. I'm pretty alright with it. No, no shinies for me to decorate my house with, but... Hey, you can make a lot of money in real estate. <laughs> <laughs> alright, so either way, you stop uh, alongside the road to... Uh, that connects for uh, uh, Ymir's tier to Urjelm. You manage to go south and up till you hit that road and continue along. You see a couple of uh, people here and there, but most of them are on horseback and just exceed you and overtake or are coming in the other direction. 
and eventually you come to night time at uh, the halfway point of the trip. What do you guys want to do? Set up camp. All right, off the track, on the track, nearby. Uh, nearby. Yeah, maybe nearby. All right, close enough to see the track or be seen by people on the track or out of the way. Uh, highway bandit sort of thing. We should probably uh, stay a little bit off the path. Yeah, sounds like a good idea. Yeah. I got plenty of rations if anyone wants some. Oh yeah. I'm yeah. good. Do try and keep track of that stuff. I, I won't bother, but... Yeah. That's fine. For your own emergency. Okay. Yeah. So, uh... I can take watch if you want, since I can see in the dark pretty nicely. Alright, so it basically requires all four of you to take watch at some point, so everyone gets their short yeah. rest in. Um, so yeah, if you guys want to roll for perception, and I'll take it in, in the order that it uh, pops up. I'll roll near last, since it'll be darkest by... Wick is active all the time. That's Wick. That's me. Hmm. Yeah. Just me. Alright, so you guys uh, settle down and start sleeping well into the night. Uh, Nate pops up for his uh, his turn just before the dawn, and you hear the faintest of whisper. I'll get rid of that fucking town noise, because you're well past that. <laughs> yeah. The busy ass fucking road. <laughs> Tell me about it. Can't get any sleep. So you just hear the the whisper of the wind uh, through the treetops, and apart from that, nothing else. Let's see if this one's applicable. Hmm, that's nice. Too low. All right, as they flutter about in the the barest hint of uh, dawn arising off the uh, off the side, and then you think you hear a whisper. And it sounds like a voice coming from relatively nearby, but so very faint. He goes, Is that them, sister? Huh? Uh, huh. So I don't see anything? Nope. Take my hat off and uh, just kind of sit down and listen for a little bit. Huh. Huh. Must have been the wind. Like I faintly hear it, or I de facto hear, is that them, sister? Like someone whispered at the other side of a room, and you just gotcha. picked it up. You can make huh? out the words, uh, but... Someone there... Uh, you can come out if you'd like. We got some food. And then the the tree behind you guys that you've basically set up in the shade of, uh, you hear the scraping of something against bark. I'll stand up and turn around to the north. Hello. And then again, just the scrape of something, like someone scratching the side of a tree with a rock. And then you hear uh, the faint whisper, if I hear... Yeah, I'm not doing that. Why don't you come out and say hi? Uh, I'll kick I'll kick someone next to me. It's like, hey, uh, wake up, fellas. We got, uh, we got visitors. Huh? Hey, wake up. There's a... I hear a lady voice. Oh, God. <laughs> she sounds pretty <laughs> hot, man. Uh, uh, why don't y'all come over here, or uh, we can introduce ourselves by the fire. Uh, my name's Nate. Okay, and casting mage armor. <laughs> and uh, yeah, you hear the voice again, but it almost seems like an echo. It comes from one side, and then it's almost echoed slightly behind on the other side. And it goes, "Where's the shard? Where's the shard?" I unsheath my sword. <laughs> okay. 
I think I know what's going on here, pal. Why don't just, you come on out? Just five more minutes. I'm trying to sleep. Corwin, wake up! <laughs> Get Shay. Shay's up. Oh, good. Morning, Shay. Uh, we got a situation. Where's the shard? Where's the shard? And Tell you what, why don't you bring your... Why don't you show me your pretty face and I just might show it to you. Where's the shot? I'll just... Where's the shot? And from the tree sprouts this uh, ethereal face of a woman. And then she lets out this mournful wail. And I need everybody to make a constitution oh, saving throw. Fuck my life. Awesome. It's a banshee. My favorite roll. Mmm, yo yo. Jesus. Dun, 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 dun. It's Banshee's. Uh, God, I don't know if this is going to be enough. All right. What? Uh, so no, I'm going to... Oh, shit, I can't. Damn it. Yep. Uh, fuck it. Too late. Okay, so I got Atlas, Nate, and Corwin. Shay? Constitution saving through? Uh, <laughs> oh, sorry. My bad. Wait. Didn't I... I don't see it. Uh, it was myself. I will be honest. It was a natural one. A natural one? Oh, you are fucked. So, okay. So the DC was oh, 13. You're possessed. You're, you're possessed, ain't you? Uh, no, no, it's a little bit zero. worse for that. Uh, so Corwin and Shay, you dropped a zero hit points and are immediately unconscious. Well, well fuck that. <laughs> That's the Banshees for you. Like, they're literally a danger to even high level, despite being yep. such a low CR. It's nuts. Um, so, yeah, Corwin and Shay, as they, they rouse and start moving forward, the sound just phew, seems to uh, just emanate across the uh, small section of the countryside. And before uh, Shay can even take his next step, he's just down and unconscious on the floor, not moving. And initiative time for everybody. <laughs> That's real bad. A little bit. Yay! Uh, hold on. Wick is gone. Oh. Uh. Hmm? Wick failed his constitution saving throw. Okay. So, uh, the other guys who succeeded will take... And we got no potions. Atlas, you take nope. 15 nope. points of psychic damage. And Nate, you take 9 points of psychic damage as the screen just seems to reverberate like someone set off a firecracker inside your skull. Uh, but you just seem to manage to shake off the uh, the rather dangerous and deadly effect of it. Um, and stay upright. But uh, let's say it hurt, and you do not want her to do that again. And it's down to you, Nate. Hooray. Uh, you can see the sister that she was talking to and who was echoing her words slowly float around the outside of the other uh, the tree. Fucking A. Get us up. How? I have nothing. Oh, sorry. I'm, uh, Atlas. <laughs> oh. Shit. We're fucked. It's yeah. fine. So, uh, yeah. I'll pull off my hat and toss it onto the one in front of me. Okay. Yeah, so Hexblade. Yep. And I'll just go up to her and pull my sword back and stab at her and say, You didn't say play! Okay. That'll fuck her up a little bit. Uh, smack her around a bit with your uh, hexed sword. Sure do. Then, uh... Pose myself here to try and keep her away from Corwin and uh, Shay. All right, and she is going to float around to here. Uh, Atlas, you can have an attack of opportunity if you want. Uh, nope. Okay. Did 
Did you add an extra six damage for the hex on him? Oh yeah, I do that, huh? I for totally forgot. One day Well, no, it's it's my it's my proficiency bonus. Right. So it's just an three. extra. Oh right, yeah, three per two, each. six, yeah. yeah, three. What? Yeah, Anything my you, hex blade's curse. Yeah, hex blade's curse. You uh, your damage you add your proficiency bonus to it. Which is a three so, now, yeah. so another three damage. Yep. Okay, that drops her to there. Okay, and she six in total. Yeah, she uh, rushes back around, grabs the now unconscious uh, Shay around the neck, and you see this long tendril, uh, almost ethereal claw, just extend from where her finger used to be, and just pushes it right up against Shay Shay's throat, right at the jugular. And she just barks at you, Nate. Where is the shard? Well, why the fuck do you want it? And, uh, yeah, she's going to inflict a uh, death saving throw on Shay. Shit. <laughs> fuck you! Or at least try to with an 8 for fuck's sake. Wow. <laughs> uh, Woo! Corwin, uh, death saving throw, please. Uh, yep, 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 yep. Gotta figure out where that is, because I haven't used it in so damn long. There okay, we. that's a success for you. Shay, death saving throw, please. That's a fail. Atlas. Who should I get up? Me. <laughs> I can heal Corn. I, I would do Shay, right. yeah. Yeah, okay. Not at all selfish. I'll skirt around. And uh, do a level 3... Cure wounds. Seventeen. Thank you. Shay is back on his feet. Okay. Uh, bonus action. Anything for you, Atlas? I don't think I have a bonus action spell. Yeah. <laughs> Hold on, Welcome. let me check. Welcome to my life. It'd have to be a cantrip, which there aren't any. Anyway. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I don't uh, follow that that rule. Well. Uh, if you got a bonus action spell, you can use it whenever. Because I think you're already limited enough, especially with the long rest and everything. I don't think spellcasters need another uh, handicap. So go nuts with your spell slots. Uh, and I don't like playing it either when I'm playing a wizard. I just like to start shooting. Uh, okay, <laughs> so we drop down to this fella who is going to sidle up next to Corwin and uh... yeah she's going to attack <laughs> just ignore these people Nate! <laughs> <laughs> Tell you what you can have the shard come and fucking take it and I am I added my proficiency to these next attacks so okay, don't so, worry about uh, Nate I need a wisdom saving throw from you Okay, never mind. Okay. Okay, and another wisdom saving throw, please. Okay. Okay, you succeed uh, against the first one, the one closest to you, uh, but you are frightened of the second one, as she looks uh, like your mother covered in spiders. Uh, it is quite literally a horrifying visage, and you are frightened of that target. Um, so uh. you cannot move closer to her, uh, and you have a disadvantage... Uh, on attacks against her, but the one Which in front one? of you Which is fine. Which one? Yeah, you're frightened by that one. That's fine, I was aiming for the other one. Okay, I'm going for the other one, the not frightened one. Yep. The one your hat is now resting on. Um, yes. Both of those hit, and, uh, yeah, you f fuck her up. As you just slice through, making sure not to hit your hat as you do so, as the hat's, uh, the, the hat band has now descended down and is wrapped around this creature's throat squeezing, although it doesn't seem to be affecting her whatsoever, um, and then you just whoo, whoo, with your uh, big sword and it's just like blowing away smoke in the wind and she just seems to and then I re and then I regain some health how much was it? Uh, curse target's eyes are equal to your warlock level plus your, co okay so so 7, 8, nine. cool okay, uh, Corwin death saving throw please uh, 20? Christ. Doesn't need your help, Jay. You can sit back down. Uh, you are back sure. up with one health. Ooh. 
But uh, Shay, back around to you. Uh, I'm going to uh, boom and blade. Is the saving throw at the start or end of your turn? The end. I think. Bummer. But yeah, it takes yes. out your turn <laughs> to do it. Yeah. No, I think it's at the start. You sure? We can double check this before we kill Cole. Pretty sure. Pretty sure. It's... Yep, start your turn. But I believe the uh, ruling is that if you... Oh, you natural 20. You're up. Yeah, that's, that's yep. pretty yeah. cool. He, he is up. Yeah. So I can fight. Arr. I can fight! So you are prone, but you have your turn. I will stand up and I will boom and blade and then I will fucking move the hell away. <laughs> Good with man. The, with bonus action dash, so that would be 15 plus 50. So yeah, that's good. Yeah, that's it. Fast as fuck, boy! Okay. So, shape. Okay, uh, I will run up and booming blade myself. Okay. Obviously the, uh... What, uh, weapons the... are you guys using on this? Are they magical? Mine is, uh, yes. Yeah. Mine is not. Mine is a shillelagh staff. So, that counts, yep. Uh, yeah, so, uh, just booming blade. Yep. Um, and then I will... Come back. Actually, all right. I'll go there. I'm done. Okay, Atlas. Boom! I'm not taking any chances. I want to kill this thing. Uh. Yep, he's a good old glass cannon. Okay, deck save. Okay, that's a fail. Wow. By quite a margin. Okay, anything else for you, Atlas? Oh, shit. That'll be it for me. Okay, Benji. Alright. Uh, I need a constitution saving throw from Nate and Shay. Yep. Wow. Uh, I'm going to use one of my portents. Um, so I'll use my 10. So that's a 16. Okay, that's a save. Uh, Nate, you take... 8 points of psychic damage. Shay, you take 13. And then the creature is going to attempt to rush Shay. Uh, do your booming blade damage, Corwin and Shay. Hold on, mine should be in mine. That's ten. Yeah, yeah, that's ten. Ten. All right. So ten from you, twelve from you. Uh, more than enough as it rushes forward, and with a bam, as both those booming blades trigger at the same time. Uh, you just hear uh, the scream from the creature as it just seems to phew, disappear imperially. Look, Look out, guys! I think it's understepped. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, yeah, nothing else. <sighs> I'm tired again. <laughs> That's uh, how much further away from your mirrors? A day. What's that tell it? You'll get there before nightfall, anyway. You all okay? Good to keep yeah. going. He's gotta yeah. watch out for any fucking uh, twigs I might trip <laughs> over. <laughs> <laughs> Scrape your knee, fall unconscious. So yeah, we got one at one, and one at four. And then 32 and 51. Yeah. So, <laughs> you guys just hightail it to your mirrors here. Yeah, let's get the hell out of here. Oh, those banshees didn't leave anything behind, I guess. No, since they're technically incorporeal for the most part, they just there's nothing. It's and I can't fucking... raise I can't raise them as an accursed specter, I assume. They're not a humanoid. Didn't think so. 
They are completely 100% undead. Cool. I raised this specter into a specter! Okay. Anyway. So, uh, yeah, rudely awoken. Um, but uh, you still get your short rest um, if you guys require it, so roll your hit dice. Uh, just in case. Um, yeah, and then you guys say, you know, fuck this out in the bush shit. Uh, and rush straight to your mist here, and uh, once again make it to that big hulking uh, banded iron door and that whole custom setup. Uh, and I suppose we'll just call it there. Yeah, if you guys want to finish up the rest of your stuff for your short rest, heal up and so forth, and we'll start next uh, next game uh, entering your mist here. No good. <laughs>